I hope you're all having a great day. <laughs> it's the weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> happy Saturday. Happy, happy, happy. Yay. <laughs> I'm doing good. Good, good, good. You're at work. What are you doing in my chat? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the the subs, the resubs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Before I get distracted. <laughs> Antonio, thank you for two months. Hatchet Hunter, thank you for 14 months. Hello Wolf Gaming, thank you for the tier two. Thank you for three months, thank you. Kaiser Holder, thank you for subbing. Welcome. So, 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 I am very sorry for being late. Um. I ordered sushi and edamame and and it took a while and then I decided to eat before going live so I wasn't hey, like Hey, Kids Day just wanted to stop and, now, and say have a know? good stream playing Phasmophobia with a friend. <gasps> have fun! Phasmo got like a huge update. It's it's like a whole different game. So I hope you have fun with it. Thank you for the booties firewall. Have fun, have fun. Making the world smile. I love you! <laughs> I love that! Thank you for three months! Thank you! <laughs> That's so fucking cute! I'll be tuned into your stream for a bit since I'm no Sage one of Raincoat and I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, that's okay. I totally get ya. But for those of you who just want to follow the story with me, or for those of you who might have played it or watched it already, uh, you can you can watch me try to figure it out and and watch my brain gears turning. You can watch the um, the wheel, the hamster wheel, <laughs> running around. <laughs> but uh, thank you, uh, and Dragon Lacy, thank you for the prime welcome. Skull Reaper, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for all the biddies, everyone. Pyro Keeper, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The hamster's been dead. <laughs> the hamster uh went up in flames. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are uh, are like, what the heck? Um, Tricky's not here. So uh, we were going to play Power Wash uh, Simulator together today. She had some personal stuff come up, so we are going to reschedule. Um, just send her your love. That's all I ask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pyro, thank you for another thousand bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Cappy, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the sauce boys. <laughs> thank you for subbing. Reach Welcome. Reach the goal before she can start. Let's you want to reach go. the cosplay goal? No way! But you guys are crazy. Hey, Fifi! I love you. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Do you also like hot, big, booby, ghost, death god ladies? Because damn, me too. <laughs> we're playing. We're playing raincoat today. We're gonna we're gonna be seeing this 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 baddie right here this Mwah, my wife I love her <laughs> sending love to Tricky you guys are so sweet so 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 sweet that's why I love my community for real I don't deserve you you're amazing <laughs> yeah I waited I waited a little bit because um you know sometimes just hanging out. And getting your mind off things is good too, but um, I think I think this is for the best. Mm -hmm. So in case you're wondering, it is a it was a pinned message saying that uh, she wasn't gonna be able to be on stream today, which is okay, a okay. Doing so we're gonna play Rainbow. To help the other pups to hit that goal, Aww. gotta make the cosplay a reality. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's it's dangerously close. It's insane. Pyro, what the hell? <laughs> you guys, you guys, 
The goal is supposed to last for another 30 hours of gameplay. Of me playing the game. We haven't started chapter one. We did chapter zero. <laughs> Cindergummy will be real. <laughs> and thank you guys for the hype train. Thank you so much. Thank you. What the hell? Damn. Pyrokeeper, thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you for 5,000 biddies. Holy shit, thank you. You are so happy and full of life. Have a great stream. Thank you. <laughs> I am very much alive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Gerald. Gerald Tiggy. Ger Gerald. Thank you for three months. Thank you. Scorpio, thank you for the biddies. Craftjaw, thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Iceman, thank you for the tip. Pyro, thank you for more biddies. It's okay. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Should have made the goal harder to achieve. What I'm do you mean? Out. I made the goal reasonable with uh, the time and materials and <laughs> wing commission costs. Cospelly. Cospelly. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the thousand bits, Kathy. Scorpios, thank you for the biddy. NK, thank you for 26 months. Thank you. Let's finish this. Jojo, thank you for 3,000 bits. Okay, chat, okay. I don't think you needed an incentive, but in case you would like an incentive to to get us the rest of the way to the cosplay goal, I have a little surprise to show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, two, one. <gasps> You might have been wondering why my horns are disabled for today. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's your death god! <laughs> yeah, do you like it? <laughs> now I look like Shinigami! Look it! We're twinning! Oh, Gamer Subs is here too. Use my code sender for 10% off your Gamer Subs order. Thank you! Don't forget, I've got a flavor coming in like a long time. <laughs> Look at us! It's Shinigami and Cindergami. Yeah! Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can't do it while I'm laughing. Huh? Well, since you said incentive, have a good stream, lass. Oh, wait, she's winking. Cinder, goal, tax. <laughs> also, Cinder, do you remember when the stream was that you were watching FNAF lore and conspiracy theory videos? Is the VOD on YT? No. Love. VOD not on YT because of copyright reasons and YouTube Cinder doesn't like Cinder 6 Pyropox that. Cinder Gami is real. But if you want to watch the, the videos, they're just uh, game theory. Matt Pat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get bonged by YouTube copyright. So, just playing it safe. <clears throat> Hold on, I missed a lot. I was fucking around. It's not much, but I'd like to contribute a bit. No, that's okay. Can't wait to see Cindergami come to No life. way! Seal Team Nick, thank you for 10 months. Firewolf! 15,000 bits since you said incentive? What? <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you, 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 thank you so much! Harmony, thank you for the biddies! Malfrayan! Oh, what the Thank you! Thank you for the biddies! Thank you! <laughs> Neon Bite, thank you for 6,000 bits! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! Radio Link, thank you! The Clover, thank you! Jake! Cinder 
Jake, thank you for 1500! <laughs> Shadow Knight, thank you for the thousand pennies! Thank you! <laughs> thank you so much! <laughs> no way! Is that gonna happen today? You must drive Cindergami goal even closer. Thank you, Striker! Thank you! Cindergami's close! <laughs> she do be awfully close, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Fire Drake. Thank you, the Cobra. Oh, woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting me and being so sweet and kind I did and my generous. Part. And you can start working on that <laughs> cosplay, I guess. <laughs> you guess. Thank you for the bits, John. Thank you. Almost there. T dog or no dog T. I keep fucking up. Dog tea! <laughs> when you liked my drawing with Dog. my friend, it actually gave me confidence. I am happy to be a part of the Pyro Call. Cheer to Inferni. You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Cinder so much. tax accomplished. <gasps> no tax. It's cosplay gold, baby. <laughs> We're so close, Cinder. Six Pyro, let's go. Bear with me. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you for the thousand biddies. Thank you. As a mom, Just thank you for the bids. Thank tracks. you. What the heck, you guys? <laughs> it's not stopping. Slinger Omega, thank you for the thousand biddies. Thank you. Joji, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So close. But I was just going to hang out and chat with you guys before. But before we get into the game, even though I should just get into TTS, the game, it's probably going to be more. another six hour chapter, right? Right? I should probably just go to the game, huh? Yeah, it's probably. Just, Keep pushing. <laughs> you guys! Pyro, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, Scorpio. Thank you for the biddies, you guys! <laughs> Let's go. We're almost there. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Mm. I need to I need to stay hydrated. Give me a second. Mm. Ah. I love gamer sex. Why not some mm. more? I just restocked on my red raspberry. Mm. Cinder mm. tax. My work here is done. <laughs> you guys, hold on, now I'm really behind. All I did was take a sip of water! <laughs> you guys. Thank you. Time to contribute to what we all want. <laughs> Nick, thank you. Shadow Knight, thank you so much. Bug, thank you for eight months. Dog, thank you for the biddies. KB, thank you so Charge. much. Pyro, thank you again. Thank you. Gamer Dude, thank you for the bits. Nero Animus, thank you for the thousand. Thank you. RGB Walrus, thank you for the biddies. Thank you. Unfortunately, I can't stay too long. I have to pack my stuff to move back to school tomorrow. That's I hope okay. you have a good stream and let's hit that goal PP gang. Thank you. <laughs> Cinder six heart. Good luck uh, packing and moving. I know that's that's a process. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Cinder tax. No. Sag just kidding. Yo, Corvus. Chat Cinder six heart. Thank you for five thousand bits. Thank you. Thank you so Smiley much. Smiley face. Coral, thank you for fifteen months. Gensua. Let's finish thank the goal. Thank you. Thank you for two months. Muo. <laughs> you content always put a smile on my face in the six heart. Thank you so thank you so much. Thank you, Mo. Thank you. Striker, thank you, thank you so so Here so much. Here you go, Lass. Fire Drake, thank you. Bronco, thank you. Firewolf! You got us past the goal! You guys hit the goal! It's real! We did it! You did it! Thank you, Jojo! <laughs> What goal? Shut up! <laughs> so, um... It's 
official. <laughs> it's official. Um, I don't have a timeline Barrel for it contribution. yet. Barrel contribution. So, so keep that in mind, okay? Just, just like the prefacing. Is real. <laughs> I heard taxes. I will be making my plans. Cuba Queen Cinder Six Heart. Behind the scenes, things will, will start happening. And I might be able to work on some of the pieces on stream for my arts and crafts streams after uh, after the VTuber stuff. The VTuber horns are done. It's in the works. Well, not yet. I mean, uh, I, I want to wait for the art book to, to get here to see if I can get um, good references. And I also want to figure out wings Cinder and the sight. Don't want the Cinder oh! RS after me. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Holy shit. Also, 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 I need to tell you guys this. If you were like Shinigami as much as I do, I just met her and I will die for her and she will probably also kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys, you guys know there's a pop-up, the pop-up uh, figure of her, right? They just came out with a Nendoroid like a couple days ago. There was something else announced. There was another figure announced for production, and it just has like the like the blanks with like no paint on it. But there's like an actual like big fancy figure of her coming. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Can I? Let me, let me see if I can find it. Can I? Hold on. You know I'm getting that. <laughs> you know I'm getting it. <laughs> there it is. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Make it a real challenge next time, Sin the Six Life. It was a. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to make the goals too high because I just don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not about that. I just figured it would be enough to cover. Any material or labor costs if I do get it commissioned for somebody else or if I make it myself, especially the wig, because a wig that crazy is definitely expensive. And yeah, there's a lot of different factors that go into it, especially if I want to do the scythe and the wings too. Mm -hmm. So this is the figure. Holy shit, that's big. Look at her. Look at this. You bet your fucking ass I'm getting that one! <laughs> this is gonna obviously be the pricier figure. Um, more so than the Nendoroid or the pop-up, but still. Barrel? <laughs> uh, hey, yo, uh, Spike Chunsoft? <laughs> Can we get a barrel figure? <laughs> it does look like it's gonna be expensive, but good lord. I, I love her so much! <laughs> We played one chapter and I'm already like <laughs> Wife, wife, marry me <laughs> We have like the same personality. It's perfect. We're perfect for each other. No, you don't need to double the goal. You guys are you guys are crazy. That is not necessary. I just want to show you something cool. Cause look at this! Look at that! So yeah, once the once uh the figure is more in development, I'm sure. I will be on top of that news. Hundred <laughs> percent. Mm hmm. So, I guess now I can do this. <laughs> we don't. We don't need the goal there anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cinder Gummy. That's all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> You guys are so crazy. Um, however, I, I, I am a little behind on my thanks. Give thanks. Um, so, uh, thank you guys. Um, Snellies, thank you for the bit. Slinger, thank you. Fantastic Dreamer, thank you, thank you. Bath Bomb Toaster, <laughs> thank you for the bit. Thank you so much. Pyro, thank you for more biddies. Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you! I'm so, so, 
so grateful. Really. Kot Kotovsky, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Scorpios, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. So, I think this is a, a good time. I don't want to waste any time because this game, this game takes a while. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch over to the game. <laughs> and we're gonna solve the next mystery. <laughs> Andre, thank you for six months. Thank you. Okay. Come on, Vaminos. Everybody, let's go. Oh. Yep. You can see my Ganon profile picture. <gasps> Thank you for my biddies! Thank you guys! Thank you so much! Okay. Inspired chaos and now return <laughs> to the shadows. <laughs> Aww. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> I need to make sure I can see you and the game at the same time. So, while I'm playing the game, text-to-speech will be off. Um, also might mute the alerts, just so that way, uh, we can listen to the characters without being too, uh, distracted. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I do still really, really appreciate you guys. Let me get... Here we go. So, uh, yeah, this is a murder, murder mystery game, and we are detectives, so we are going to do our best to solve the next mystery. <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah, no backseating, no spoilers. Pretty please. Uh, I'm not afraid to have my mods bonk anybody who decides to say something they shouldn't say. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba, let's go I'm ready please no recap Melamine no <laughs> I think that chapter is over and done with hopefully we should we should just remember remember her as you know as she was with the milk Okay, chapter one. That's right, rain code! We're in the rain now. Let me know if the volume is good for you guys, too. The little rain, rain hat. <laughs> There's a place I want to show you. How did I forget? <laughs> it's the best spot to learn about this town. Oh God, yeah. Thank you, thank you for showing hey, me. Hey, relax. Hey. Don't be so nervous. I forgot we were with a dreamboat. Sure. God damn. I'm nervous because I'm in an elevator with a hottie. <laughs> Come on, this way. I want his jacket. Hey, um. I'm I'm a little cold, uh, like really really cold, and all this rain. Um. Oh, you want to give me your jacket? Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> it is really cool. Hello, sir. Oh, he's so cool. Look at him with the, the lean and his arms crossed. <sighs> I love the view of the city from here. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's like we're always the view. right at the brink of dawn. Oh, I'm done. Although, thanks to them, the real dawn will never rise here. Mm. I'm a Tarasu Corporation. You mean I'm a Tarasu Corporation? Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's just what he pointed at, bro! 
Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the Yuji's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. Hmm. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Open an umbrella, and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat, and you can even take a girl cycling. <gasps> he loves me! <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Ah, oh, the wink! The wink! <laughs> yeah, it was cycling. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> a while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. In Kanai huh. Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. What? That's sketchy. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. Why? It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. Okay, but if there's no detectives, then people can just get away with whatever the fuck they want. And that's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. That's valid. Um, I heard that Conai Ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset. And you don't want this place to change? Bro. <laughs> Whenever someone's smiling in that building, someone else in town is weeping. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. Huh? And nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. We're... Just detectives. You're more than that to me. Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is. In a way words couldn't begin to describe. This is it gonna be sad? This buzzhead dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer. But there's an ominous aura around him. You only end up like that if... You've seen death all the time. I can fix him! Could it be because of this city? Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not that similar. <laughs> hmm? Something wrong? Is there something in my gorgeous face? Uh, uh no, not yet. Um, do you want me to put something up there? <laughs> Back in the day, I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> Back in the day, I'm no longer. What so do you popular. mean, bro? I'm all over you. <laughs> and you'd be right. <laughs> the rain. It this game is stops. way too fucking self-aware. I feel so goddamn now. called out. Here? Looking at Shinigami's boobies, fangirling over this this attractive man. <laughs> this game's out to get me. I swear. Oh, this stuff. <laughs> Fatalists would tell you that. All rain must come to a stop. But for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. Years? For years? <laughs> yeah, years. It started around, oh, three years ago? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. Wow, that's so crazy. It's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. Huh? But it's all hearsay. Should we not be outside? No one knows why the rain never lets up. But it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. Kanai Ward. It's such a bizarre place. <laughs> bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. What have you seen? You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be fine. Are you not real? Trust me, it's easier this way. 
Is it? Well, now that I've finished showing you the town, let's head to the agency. Acid rain? That's an Avenged Sevenfold song. It's really good. This place... There's a lot more to it than I thought. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here! It's like there's a florist on every corner! With the rain? I mean, I guess the rain smells good. Really? I don't see any florists. I didn't mean it literally. To me, nothing smells sweeter... Than death? Than the stench of death! <laughs> The stench of death? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place! It smells so lovely. I think you're just smelling that guy over there. That sounds so ominous. <laughs> hey! The elevator's here! Right! Coming! I'm on my way. Making my way downtown. Now then. Come on, let's go down. Yes. Right. No need to be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here anyway. Ready yet? Yes. Special Autonomous Zone of Kanai Ward. Surely there's nothing dangerous? I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, wait, golden rule, golden rule. We can't Sakura. get attached to anybody, because anybody could die at any second. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. Messiest? What do you mean by that? And that guy just disappeared. Magical blurred in the rain. It's so pretty. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think it'd be the street lights. Oh my god, it's so pretty scenery, here. But it still makes me all nostalgic. Perhaps I'm from a city like this one. Or maybe if you formed my mind into a shade. I was just trying to see if there's like a like sprint button. <laughs> I don't think I can sprint. Hey, isn't it weird how it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here? That's true, that's a good point. It looks like they have a good drainage system. See? There's a drain leading to a pipe over there. That kind of thing creeps me out. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Uh. Hey! There's a clown in the sewer staring at you! Where? Uh, a clown? <laughs> Made you luck! Oh my god. <laughs> Why are we in the sewer? I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. So it's just you? you? Working as the only detective for the whole it's city so ever since. It's not like I can change careers. I'm a WDO detective after all. Clients trust me to do the job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. Aww. What about unsolved mysteries? The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. Oh, interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. Yeah, I can help you out. Huh? All? Wait, where are you leading me, bro? We just met, and and you're hot, but... <laughs> There's so many red flags! <laughs> yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. Too late to turn back? True. <laughs> Underground passages. Oh, it said first-timers tend to get lost! Wait! Wait, I already get lost in areas I'm familiar with. What? Um, is your agency up ahead? Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office in Connor. So we're in the sewers? Ugh, must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. 
The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. Oh! You're the last to join us. Um... Other master detectives? Yeah, I was gonna say. Died. Five of them are gone. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai Ward. Hmm. They covered their bases. Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Why do we have to take that one? Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. Why would we take the train so owned by the, the Sussy Corporation? Express. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Granted, they deny any involvement. Mm -hmm. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yours barely made it. Oh, oh. That tragedy happened to others too. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Four? Unfortunately, a lot of sacrifices were made. There's only four more? But as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. really annoys me. Wh why I wonder what these surviving master detectives are like. So exciting. Yeah, so what? Hysterical. One survivor on all the different trains? <laughs> so, wait, is that including you? So is there six of us total? Hopefully the others survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, the water in the river is polluted. We should keep that in mind. Five if you don't count the hunk. <laughs> oh. Here we are. Huh? This is your office? No. No, something's um, not right. Where's the agency? It's right here. <laughs> All right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. What? It's in a fucking submarine! No way! That's so cool! Yeah, submarine, like, hideout? This is the agency? <laughs> <laughs> He's so shook. <laughs> Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. What, you expected something a bit tidier? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. No, it's like cool. But isn't it awesome? Yeah! Our own submarine! That's what I was saying! <laughs> is this really it? Our office is a sub? <laughs> <laughs> been assigned to a sinking ship of a detective agency. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I think it's clever. How are they supposed to track us underwater? In a polluted river? Can we name it Polar Tang? <laughs> It's the Nocturnal Detective Agency submarine. Ooh, he took his jacket off. Oh? Oh? Detectives! What? 
he's in the fireplace. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> Thanks for waiting, everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. Watch it! Don't just come barging in here. <laughs> it's the little spunky guy. S sorry. What are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? It actually looks pretty bougie in here. Victory is mine. Pay up. <gasps> yeah, take all my money. Hold on, that doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. <laughs> don't get attached, 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 don't get attached! Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. A new baddie? It's like baddie Chiaki. <laughs> <sighs> and when you put it like that... And we've got like the cartoony expressive character, like like Hyoko and Teru Teru and uh, Ryoma. With my logic, <laughs> anything is possible. Um, what are they fighting about? Not me making more Danganronpa references. Hey, what are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. Um, who's gonna tell him? Oh, well, somebody's gotta tell him, and it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> he says while smoking. True. <laughs> he strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. Oh. But if he fails even once, I win. Hmm. And he failed. Thus, I get all the cash. <laughs> Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. He kind of looks like Kibo. With like the eyeliner and the ahoge. <laughs> I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. The uh, next is the seventh, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love these characters. Hey, Red, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Chocolate? Sure thing. Uh, one, two, three. Is she eating them? Hey, don't eat them. <laughs> We're using them to count. How many are we missing now? Two or three? That's me eating all the chocolate. Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. Uh, two, <laughs> or three. Uh, I never remember since I so rarely count that high. More than three? Please give me just a moment to recall it. Uh, girl. <laughs> uh, it's so ruined. Aww. Um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? That sounds like the logical thing to do, right? Oh, right. Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks. <laughs> oh my god, he's a dumbass. <laughs> So many! Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. Mm -hmm. Aha! I remember the number four comes after three. <laughs> the answer is four. She's so cute! <laughs> huh? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? I don't know, maybe. You're eating it right now! <laughs> <laughs> it is too delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. Huh? That's why she doesn't have to count. <laughs> <sighs> it is simply heavenly. Anyway, time to pay up. Enough. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Okay, but who's the mysterious guy in the fireplace? <laughs> you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Virtue, honesty, and sting the hell out of trouble. Mm. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency. Got it? Got it. Now then, 
I'd like to introduce you to our final team member. Hi, I'm Coco Head. <laughs> Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> A round of applause, please. <laughs> Yay! Coco Head! <laughs> nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Coco Head! <laughs> Which one of them will die first? Him or me? She, stop it! Stop it! Hey, knock it off! They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Yuma, let me introduce everyone to you. Yes, please. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a great master. Halara Nightmare? What? Oh my god, she's a baddie. She's like actually a fucking baddie. <laughs> the little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. <laughs> His outfit looks so comfy. Oh my god, I love him. Desuhiko! Oh! <laughs> He's got stars in his eyes. Thunderbolt! <laughs> The beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress to the famous Clockford family. Hmm. So maybe she is a princess. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, she is so sweet, though. Fubuki! More like Cockford? <laughs> what? <laughs> and the one inside the fireplace? Yeah, um. What? Fireplace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why there of all places? Oh no, oh no, this is gonna he be the one that's calming in there. Anyway, his name is Vivia Twilight. Oh uh, um, nice to meet you. He's an emo boy! He's an emo boy! Right, now that we're all here. Why do I love them so seat. much? I'm gonna get so attached again, and then they're all gonna fucking die, and then I'm gonna actually sob. <laughs> I'm gonna cry so damn hard. I cried so much playing with right the Donkey Rampa games, so <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm actually gonna lose it. <laughs> now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. But why is he in the fireplace? <laughs> Twilight sings Panic at the Disco every day. <laughs> there are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Mm. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here and avoid provoking them, as we've been doing. Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage! Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, you know, lay low down here. And then when shit hits the fan, then we pop out and be like, Ding dong, you're wrong! I want to make a grand entrance, solve all unsolved mysteries, and become a superstar detective! Oh, and once I'm rich and famous, I'll make you all The little sisters. sprite. <laughs> Why you look like that? <laughs> In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. They think they can do whatever the fuck they want. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. I see. Got it. No, you're not going to be a villain. <laughs> Wait, don't actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't investigate anything with those guys. Got it? He's like, I'll just pick a fight with him and then I'll be famous. <laughs> Starlight Sid, thank you for the raid. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome. My name is Cinder. I'm the Hellhound VTuber. Hello. Today, we're continuing with the rain code. We are on... We're on chapter one, but there was like a chapter zero prologue before this. It is a murder mystery detective game. Very similar to Danganronpa. Uh, same developer, same art style, same music, musician, people. Um, so if it looks familiar, that's probably why. Um, so there will be spoilers. 
if you have not played it, if you would like to play it yourself, just a heads up, we're, we, we just started chapter one. It's the unofficial Danganronpa 4, yeah, because it's impossible to make another game in the Danganronpa franchise series, so they, they just kind of started from scratch. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Yeah, please no spoilers, no backseating. It'll be fun detective time. Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai War? What do they want us to do? Solve a mystery. Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. Oh. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. Huh? But before that, what do we do? Something I need to verify. Just fuck first. around and find out. Yuma, it's about you. Me? Huh? Me? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but... Do you really have amnesia? Yeah. I didn't even know my name was Coco Head. How the fuck do you forget that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> amnesia? Yeah, seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Mm hmm. Ah, or making a contract with the Death God. I mean. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. What? Huh? Fubuki, you too? He didn't know? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. Um. I think that's a little different, honey. Um. <laughs> uh. I think you're just. <laughs> oh no, is she actually me? <laughs> Why are all these characters so relatable? <laughs> don't make things even more complicated. My apologies. No, don't yell at her. What is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. Hmm, sabotage. So you really don't remember anything. <laughs> I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. Wait, no, it was because we made a contract with, with Shinigami. She... She took the memories. That's right. But we can't say anything about her. It's against the contract. Something bad might happen. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with a death god. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be like, he's crazy. <laughs> breaks the contract i think i was just lucky the chief saved me in the end wow Aww. you can work off your debt to me oh <laughs> so you really don't know who you are in other words you don't remember if you're a detective that's correct <laughs> that's not bad. oh but i do have a letter from the wdo and this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly i don't doubt you that's not what I'm worried about. What are you worried about? I've already verified your identity. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, is that your power? Huh? You know who I am? I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. Oh, oh, he did like a, like a background check on us. I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. <laughs> he was just like, good luck, everybody. <laughs> At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. Oh, yeah, I want to know what all their powers are. That ability is top secret, so uh, I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. Or not. Okay. <laughs> your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Hmm. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. This doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! <laughs> I might finally get to learn about my past! Right? Uh, like, what can we do? So, who am I? The truth might surprise you, but... Among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. 
Uh, what? So we're not a detective? But we were on the list of people coming here? What? What do you mean? Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. Yes. That is an undisputable fact. But a detective in training was also summoned. Oh, we're in training. We're like an intern. <laughs> detective in training? That's you, Yuma. No shit. <laughs> Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. Aww. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. So we don't have our power yet. So I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, master. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. Because I solved the train mystery. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Oh, so we have power? An ability? So I do have some sort of special power to- You're giving me mixed signals, bro. Do I have one or do I not? Your record claims that you're a great cook. <laughs> Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? about cooking it's okay it'll be like uh like riding a bike muscle no, memory I, did my profile mention anything else like where i used to live or my personal history nope it didn't have any details of the sort didn't think so you see you've got a trainee's profile not a proper master detectives i see you know trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant don't you think No? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! <laughs> gonna eat me? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. Thank you. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. Hmm. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. That's a good point. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So, are we gonna get it this chapter? So, everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents. No exceptions. Uh, how long have I been a trainee? During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. Damn. Like me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO. By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh. Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same weight. You can still be my master, though. <laughs> A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. Hell yeah. So, is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. His forte is low effort risk. <laughs> There is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. Are you sure you don't, you're not like upset about that? I think he's really content. He's like, I don't need a power. I can sit in my chair and still solve crime and do it good. He knows he's high. He's like, I don't need a forte. <laughs> I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, master. 
Look, there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Oh, he's so sweet. He's hyping us up, to guys. Like, he's making us feel good about ourselves. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. Oh, 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 oh no, he didn't. He's throwing shade. Oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. But being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better. Oh, I can. You can cut the tension in the room with a knife. Such as myself. Oh shit! <laughs> you're tooting your own horn too. <laughs> yeah, anyway, whether you have an ability or not. The fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. So, I wanted to be a detective. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. Hmm. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. Well, that could also be luck. I'm not sure if that's right. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. <laughs> She's so precious. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, <laughs> let alone yesterday's weather. <laughs> yesterday's weather was rain. It hasn't been raining for three years. <laughs> it was raining. It's always <laughs> raining. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna die. <laughs> she's gonna die. <laughs> Zero survival skills. Is she this dumb on purpose? I think she's putting on a mask. <laughs> Maybe she's a giant skink. It's boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Shinny, stop it! <laughs> I didn't do anything. I mean, I'm falling for her, but uh. <laughs> By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is going to steal your thunder. Got it? Yeah, thunderbolt. Thunder. Th yeah, thunderbolt. Go ahead and try. <laughs> Too bad for you, rookie. I'm going to take all the medals. No, I'm going to steal your thunder. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm too good for this. <laughs> you senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? <gasps> oh, he's sleeping! Oh, precious baby! My, my goth boy baby! <laughs> no, not really. Oh, oh, don't look at me like that. I fucking smirk. <laughs> <gasps> My heart just stopped. A call? That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, Pick it up. they're finally contacting us. Pick it up! All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is rather special. So you should probably fucking pick it up. And obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu. Yeah, you should pick it up! If they're contacting <laughs> us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Me? Huh? You want me to answer? Master! Okay. Hello? Um, hello, Nocturnal Detective Agency. Please state your business. God? Good work, all of you. I assume everyone is present. Who are you? He's an ally. Do you see his rainbow piercings? <laughs> so few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. Were you expecting us not to survive? What the hell? Who's this grandpa? He acts like he's hot shit. It beats me. I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. Huh? Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? <laughs> no, uh, that's impossible. 
This is a direct line to the WDO. Uh oh. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? Huh? A name. <laughs> the fucking shades. <laughs> Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Huh? Now I simply go by number one. Number I'm one? Sure you've heard of me. No, I haven't. <laughs> Number one! <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> you a kid next door? <laughs> you age. <laughs> really let himself go. <laughs> Number one? Huh? You're joking! Seriously? What? Uh, my sincerest apologies for my rude behavior. <laughs> I didn't expect number one himself to appear. The bow. This must be very serious business then. Number one. Is he a big deal or something? Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. Oh. Oh, so he's like the the big bit, like the biggest big shot. The top detective of the WDO? He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is huh. only known among detectives as number one. He's the top of the World Detective Organization? This geezer? It's just some old man. Yeah. <laughs> I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. Okay. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate <laughs> secret. Wow, nobody knows his identity. It sounds like a mystery that <laughs> needs solving. <laughs> Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Of course there's a global mystery. Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. Yeah, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> great global mystery uh, is easier to digest. <laughs> it's less of a mouthful. That is all. Huh? That's it? How about some clues? What is the mystery? Why do you think you're there? If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. What a mystery are we solving? Providing any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Uh, oh. Understood. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. We need the case to solve, bro. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. I heard that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. Hmm. Is that true, Master? I don't remember at all. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. <gasps> He's got like eyeball and eyeball motif going on. I can't help but notice that there was also an eyeball on, on Shinigami's scythe. I don't know the if that's WDO connected. will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. Okay. We must guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the name of truth. Yeah. Go forth, proud detectives. Yeah. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yeah. All right. Let's find his identity. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. We play our cards right, we're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> I'm hyped! <laughs> it isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret 
must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Just look up number one on Facebook! <laughs> Which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out! So, it's a full-on war, then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. Hmm. War is awful. I myself am a pacifist. <laughs> well, it's something we have to do from here on. There you go again with your jokes. Fubuki. Were you listening? Oh, no. We're gonna have to hold her hand. Huh? With I everything. Was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> oh, no. You weren't listening then! So, Chief, any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain, I think. Hmm. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery, too. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Great. Well, for now, let's <laughs> sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy to reach spots. Well, then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. He's seen some shit. He's trying to protect us. Oh. He doesn't want anything bad to happen to us. Jeez. How did it end up like this? Do you need a hug? Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Aww. Are things really that bad? Yeah, lives are at stake here. Well, yeah. Considering that only six of us are here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai Ward. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. She's so badass. Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. <laughs> Who said I wanted that? <laughs> I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear a thing. What? <laughs> no, I know that's impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. This is why you're not uh, a master level detective, bro. I guess we have no choice. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in the city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way's most convenient for them. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Some of these cover-ups hmm. may be clues for unsolved mysteries, then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear! Huh? Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. <laughs> We've got to crush each unsolved mystery one by one. Yeah. With all of them? All of them. I suppose that's one way to solve whatever's going on. Oh, fine. All right, listen up. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Yeah. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. They've got nothing on us. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. What was that other guy's name? Swank. <laughs> if, we're, if we're dealing with guys like Swank, this is gonna be fucking easy. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now. But it's time to put an end to that. Please, help me save this city. That's why we're here. You heard him, Master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> She's so cute. I can't wait to get my plushie. <laughs> In the unending rain, through the winding neon cityscape, 
Draped in my raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth of drainage pipes? Oh shit, what? Who? Oh, what? Wait. We have yet to find the answer. The story of detectives facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth. Huh? Who are you people? Is about to begin. Zombies? What? from dying because they're in the title sequence. How's that? Wait. 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 What? This is so cool. so quick I'm so excited <laughs> No it didn't be the game that's like the opening sequence Oh now the prologue ended I thought we already ended the prologue I thought we we're on chapter one. Oh. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> now we're on chapter one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. That was like chapter zero point five. The game's really in depth. Yeah. The faint sound of a ticking clock melts against the sound of rain. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the wheel of fate? Is this the same game? Every time the pink blood closes. The pink blood! The pink blood! It's real! Again for a reason to open it. Also, why was she being nailed to the floor? <laughs> I love how the pink blood is the first thing I noticed. Oh shit! The nail man killings? Oh, that's the mystery! Oh! Nail man? Oh! <laughs> He really nailed it. <laughs> Got some nice sleep. <sighs> no one's here yet? It's just about time, I think. And to be fair, their type are rarely on time anyway. Master detectives are all weirdos. You're telling me, uh, my guy ain't sleeping in the fireplace? Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? 
Not really. No. What? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Mm -hmm. Be more like me. <laughs> Even today, my mind is crystal clear. What do you mean? You had a breakdown yesterday. Use. <laughs> you were literally freaking the fuck out. <laughs> uh, huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. I don't, it looks pretty cool. It's a cool sofa. The other Master Detectives are staying at a hotel, right? What? That's not fair. I'm totally jealous. How come we stayed in the submarine? Huh? It's discrimination. They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally. <laughs> For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. Maybe he was lonely. <laughs> I totally expected our emo boy to be asleep in the fireplace. <laughs> well, where are we going? This way? Aw, she's EP. Wow. Even the shower's fully equipped. This submarine's incredible. Master? Why don't you go wash up first, Master? Oh, I don't need to shower right now. Oh, he's stinky. Oh, stinky boy. Come on. Jeez, way to kill the mood. What? Huh? What are you even talking about? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ooh. He said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Why do I want to become one in the first place? It's not like I have any <laughs> Yeah, is she trying to peep? <laughs> is there a reason why? Even if there was... Right now, I have no reason to try being a detective. I'm only pretending to be one to regain my memories. No. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? Just trust the process. Master, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. It's not dumb. This is important to me. <sighs> <laughs> you better be careful. Whenever a detective sighs, a murder case occurs. Is that true? Like it wouldn't happen otherwise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish that was the case. <laughs> no. Wait a minute, Yuma. You're oh. good at cooking, right? Can you make something for me? Oh, my God. <laughs> huh? Right now? Come on, man. I'm starving. <laughs> Maybe if you do some expert cooking, it might rekindle your lost memories or something. He's just trying to get us to make him food. Uh, I guess so. I'll be your maid. Right. So get out breakfast. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, Chief. What should I do? Is this my husband, though? Give it a shot. Probably. Maybe your muscles will remember. He's more like daddy, though. <laughs> I guess I'll try. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Damn. Maybe he can cook. He's going hard. Right, done. That was a weird Let's angle, though. <laughs> that was like really weird. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty good. God, go. I hope Chief Yaku likes my cooking. Here, Chief. Breakfast is ready. Chief, breakfast is ready. Oh. <laughs> hey, it smells nice. Let's see. <laughs> What is this? Oh. <laughs> Did we kill him? He's gone pale. I hope he is. Is he pale. allergic? <laughs> no way. Uh, Chief, are you all right? Boom kill. <laughs> I thought I was a goner. Did you <laughs> poison me? Look at him! <laughs> he looks like a zombie! <laughs> Why would I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it. Aww. Right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Yuma, can you clean this up? Is it really that bad? Oh, that went about as well as I expected. Aww. 
<laughs> yeah, don't let him cook. Master, if you ever want to boom kill someone, you should just cook for them. Now I feel bad. He was so excited. <laughs> he was so excited and we crushed him. I think it would be the perfect crime. <laughs> Can we order him takeout instead? How did my profile say I was good at cooking? Forget about the cooking, Yuma. Yeah, at least until you get your memories back. Maybe they meant like the... Not like the literal cooking. Like, like... Yes, Yuma can cook! <laughs> Maybe that's what they meant. Yeah, I figured. Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. But it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. So it was about time for everybody to meet up, and we spent all that time cooking, and everybody else is still not here yet? Uh, it's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. From under the water? They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. They even confiscated my office. And, well, uh, here I am now. Oh. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which were higher priorities. And besides, ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. Hmm. They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. Yeah, why don't they come visit? But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? The Great Global Mystery must be a huge deal. Even Number One is getting involved. Hey, isn't Number One coming here? I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> you think I'd know? <laughs> Number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. Whoa. That's why he almost never shows up in public. It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. Yeah, why doesn't the top master detective just solve the, the global problems? The rumors say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Perfectly on his own? He doesn't need anybody. He didn't seem all that impressive to me. <laughs> anyway, he's got his hands full on another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. Another case that's more important than the global mystery? Huh? We'll save our trump card for last. Until then, we'll add a few cards to our hand. That's why you all were called here. Wait, where are the others? That's what I was saying, uh, yeah. At this rate, we'll never have enough hands. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own thing all the time. Aww. Maybe somebody else knows how to cook. How about using a cell phone? Even if you can't contact the outside world, it'd still be useful in times like these. Will that work underwater? And no good. Risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Damn. Okay, Yuma, you're getting your first job. A job? Learn the how to cook. Detectives assembled. Oh. I've rented out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. Really? A special room? My guess is that they still haven't left the hotel yet. Oh, yeah, for the them. Each master detective right. is quirky in their own way. Listen, Yuma, your job is to convince them to get over here. Convince them? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, are they all dead in the hotel? Were they nailed by the nail man? He says it's a job. No. He just no, they're in the title sequence. No, 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 no. That that can't be possible. Fine. I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. Yeah, I'll be super sneaky. Yeah, convince them. <laughs> Maybe they just sure, all forgot. All that down. Ooh! You can check the next objective in the notebook menu. It'll be displayed in an icon within, within the districts on the map. Hmm, okay. Map. Map. Don't forget this stuff! You can see the entire city with the ward map. Kanai ward map. Wow! And we get a detailed map. Okay, sweet! 
So this is where we want to go. You can't be sure in a game like this whether or not characters have plot armor. I mean, the protagonists don't even have plot armor. <laughs> if we're talking Danganronpa, so your commemorative first job is anything, scary. literally anything can happen. Are you sure about this, Mr. Trainee Detective? It's better than hiding out on the sub. By the way, Shinigami, what do you know about number one? Huh? Oh, why do you ask? I was just curious. Wait, you know something, don't you? Of course she does. As if. Don't go thinking I know that either at all. <laughs> I have standards, you know. Is number one evil? Besides, oh, what makes you think I know any humans personally? I mean, I'm a death god. <laughs> the only people I meet are dead. No! <laughs> the city out while on your errand who knows you might uncover kanai ward's ultimate secret yeah we can I look around think it's that simple <gasps> yay we get to explore oh, look at that master okay what what am i looking at what? the trash where there's something amazing over there go <gasps> get it hurry a ghost a ghost Ghost, ghost, ghost! What is this? What? Is this a Shinigami figurine? Oh my oh, god! Memory fragment! Oh my god! We can have. We can have special events with the characters. We can have we can have like special conversations and like the more we get and have more interactions with the characters, we can like unlock more like cutscenes and dialogue options. Oh my god. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. But if you collect these figurines, you can get a peek at your memories, master. Oh. Wait. It'll cure my amnesia? No, but I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. Oh, what memories can I see then? Your memories with all the detectives and Buzzhead's agency. <laughs> you guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, um, what did we talk about again? See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. <laughs> If you want to know what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Yes. Finding them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. The word, I am going to scour. I'm going to rip this city apart. <laughs> you can check all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, the same place you check solution keys. Yeah, I okay. I think I understand. Get attached, get attached, get attached. <laughs> right on. Thinking you maybe understand is perfect. Oh, uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. Are you gonna warn me about the fact that I should try to guess which characters are gonna die first because then I will miss out on having the interactions with them even if I found the fragments and the shards or whatever uh, because if they're dead then I can't have the interactions even if I found them so I should probably do my best to find them as quickly as possible and have the interactions before they're dead? Is that what you're warning me about? You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Got it. Shinigami's tutorial corner. Memory shards that look just like me are scattered across Kanai Ward. Master's got secret memory stash. Collect away. memory shards to watch episodes featuring the other detectives under Gumshoe Gab in the notebook menu. Gab with Yako! Yo, check, check. Search around Kanai Ward and collect all the scary cute memory shards resembling yours truly. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, so I gotta look for like the blue glowies. Oh, I can look at this garbage site. Oh! There's a lot of trash here. I wonder if it gets picked up regularly. Does it look like it gets picked up regularly? Well, 
games are not collecting because Fud he Fuzz heads behind on his bills. <laughs> That's very possible. Yeah. Hmm? Is this the way to Kamasaki? Yeah, Kamasaki District? I don't remember coming through here yesterday. Uh, oh, I guess we can't go that way. Okay, okay, you want me to go one specific way, but I want to look for the, the fucking statues! Hmm. Is that a <gasps> Puppy! <gasps> Puppy! Puppy! Say. That's true. No, I want to go! Fine, we'll go this way. Fine. Hmm. Well, maybe we can pet them later. They're just like really holding our hand with the directions. Why don't we explore the city? Actually, you can't go this way. <laughs> Meat bun? A specialty of Kanai Ward and comfort food to the locals? A meat bun? <gasps> I want a meat bun. I love meat inside of buns. Hey, why are you going back? What do you mean? This is the only way you told me to go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You definitely want to remember this. There's the solution keys. Oh, over here. Come shoot him. Master's got secret memories. Here's a hint. So we can watch this? Vivia's garments. There are bandage-like wrappings beneath his coat, so it wouldn't be accurate to call it clothing. Yeah. Is he okay? <laughs> uh, something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? <gasps> well, it's nothing, really. When you say you're fine, but you're not really fine. Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. Aww. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. Oh. <laughs> you need help relaxing, do ya? <laughs> I see. Damn it all. Why is he winking? <laughs> the days when things were so uneventful. <laughs> Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's <laughs> spouse was cheating or not. Aww. So you're not used to these crazy cases, huh? I'd tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. Aww. It was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. No, that's sad. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Oh, shit. Sure is. But you know what they say, every job is equally important. Mm -hmm. Just because a job may look more glorious, doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Aww. Look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. He is cool. Huh? What's wrong? You fell quiet out of nowhere. Uh oh. Shit, I forgot! I forgot! Wait, we have the dialogue options! Uh. I. I'm impressed. I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna, like, bullshit him! I don't wanna, but I also don't wanna just like say nothing. Um, um, uh, I zoned out. I did zone out though. I, I'm sorry. I was looking at your face. Well, you just kept going and going, so I kind of zoned out. Come on! I'm st sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Joking. <laughs> to be honest, 
I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Aww. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? Hot. Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, you do that. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. I just met them. <laughs> I better be more careful about this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. Yeah. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. Imbibe! <laughs> What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. <laughs> what? I can't believe you'd say that so fast! <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Did we? Was that a good answer? Was, was I being honest? Was being was honesty the good policy? He seemed a little shook at first, but then but then we we kind of like rebounded. And we were like, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and for a detective, I feel like lying is not good. It doesn't matter. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it doesn't. <laughs> I want a meat bun. The iron coffin bed. Oh, these are hints. Oh. Princess Kaguya in the bamboo grove. We learned about her from Okami. Looks like a variety store. There's some questionable bottles lined up, though. Questionable? Bleach? Hey, look! There's a candy called Raindrops! How crappy! <laughs> huh. It's not an Okami reference. It's like a... It's like, um... Uh... What is it? Like, like a... Like a story? Like a, like a myth? No, not a myth, but like, um... Like a folk tale, I think. Folklore, yeah, yeah. Gotta go around? Yes. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go around. Why is there TV over there? This is giving me major Despair Girls vibes. In the sewer with the TVs. Zoom! Zoom! You good? You okay? Living it up down there. Head up the stairs. Yes. Oh. Hello. What was up with that person? Was that the same person running they off the train? We don't see outsiders that much. Come on, let's hurry up. Right. Huh? We're not gonna check that out. I don't know about you, Shinigami, but I am looking for shards. Looks like we can talk to people. Men's room. <laughs> oh no! You're going into the men's room with poor defenseless little me right here! <sighs> and we can't go in because it's being cleaned anyway. <laughs> I love their interactions. I'm probably gonna get lost in the city. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, the blue dots are... No. People I talk to? There's blue dots on the map. Uh, um. Hmm. He's just glaring at us. Let's not talk to this guy. Oh, detective points. 
I'm covering up the map, but there's there was tiny little blue dots, so I was curious. What's with that ugly cat? <laughs> cat? That's a cute cat! You're on something. Say. That's true. Okay, well? okay, I just wanna explore! Let me live my life. I might not have it for very long. Ooh. Are you lost? Maybe. Can you help me? <gasps> teru Teru Bozu? I knew it. It's a Teru Teru Bozu charm. I guess the people of Kanai Ward want the rain to stop too. But but this one's all beat up. Looks like it's been hanging for a long time. Maybe they've given up on the idea of ever having nice weather again. Hmm. If we get more detective points, then I think we can level up skills. I think that's how it works. Hmm. What's up with the TVs outside? That's kind of sus. Kind of, kind of sussy. Why are there blue dots where the people are? Are these just people I can talk to? Kid wants a toy. That's where we came from. Kanai Station Square. No, we want to go this way. This way. What? That's a bar. Oh, over here? That's the subway. How do I get in there? Over here. A sun and Moon Hotel. Since Kanai Ward's isolation from the world three years ago, the number of guests has dramatically decreased. Hmm. Must be hard running a business. Oh! <gasps> Look at you! You're so silly! Oh. <laughs> With Vivia? <laughs> oh. Yuma. Good morning. Hi. Good morning? What are you doing here? You like just sleep. He's like. Huh. He's the kind of guy that likes to build a pillow forts. He's just chilling. <laughs> the front desk people are probably like, what the fuck? The story <laughs> is about a boy building a sandcastle uh. on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Uh. Many days pass. The sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. Oh, he's got my heart in a vice grip! The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. He's so mysterious. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. As expected, she destroys the sandcastle and returns home. The protagonist wonders why she do such a thing. Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh, can you tell me a bedtime story every night? Uh huh. Uh... I mean, what? <laughs> hmm. She likes the protagonist. Maybe she likes the protagonist. She's trying to get his attention. I see. If she continues to destroy the sandcastle, the protagonist will return to rebuild it. Exactly. And they can stay together. Oh. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle. Can we build a sandcastle? If 
please! <laughs> it's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. Yeah, but... 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 Uh, you know... <laughs> Girls are quirky like that! <laughs> that solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. Yeah, is it? Is, is it? <laughs> so, what's the real reason? The real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. Oh my god. You must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself. <laughs> the wink, the smug look. He knows he's hot shit. That's what stories are all about. Just as you brought up this question, the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. He is smooth, isn't he? But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. I am... <laughs> I am actually gonna get so emotionally distraught if this man dies. The sight of the girl facing away from him. Disappearing into the lake. Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. What? Almost like a long forgotten memory. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of her. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. Isn't it beautiful? Friends. I'll be his friend. By the way, Vivia, Chief Yako asked for you at the office. Oh, is it that time already? Tell the Chief I'll be there. Okay. All right. You don't want to go back together? Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. <laughs> he has zero intention of getting up. <laughs> oh, also, do you know where the others are? Maybe the restaurant? They should still be eating breakfast right now. Did you sleep here? The restaurant, got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I wanna die someday. Don't say that! Excuse me! You can't just say that and then, and then not say anything else! Sir! I said I'd go, but I haven't decided when. <laughs> You're just gonna ignore that? Should I hurry? No, take your time. Well, I'll consider it. If a butterfly flaps its wings in a forest somewhere. I can save him. I can fix him. You mind? This piano looks really extravagant. I wonder how it feels? Pretty big trouble if you broke it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just admire it from afar. Huh. Where is your dining establishment? Come on, over there, Master. There they are. We're missing one. Hey, rookie. What's up? You here for breakfast, too? Good morning, Yuma. Maybe we should bring something back for Yako. Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Huh? Are we late? Impossible. <laughs> As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. Oh my god. <laughs> my vision is quite sharp, you know. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> but that's not an excuse for being late. Yeah. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Listen, Rookie, I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. How did you know? Wow, you must be a master detective. <laughs> but you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? Hmm, that's a good point. 
Now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> Don't be convinced so easily. Anyway, you should bring the chief here. Oh my god! <laughs> In no way. For all we know, the peacekeepers could be around. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so it's better to have it at the office. I agree with Yuma. What? You, of all people, are saying that now? Oh, jeez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. <laughs> I will also be there after breakfast. I have to chew well to promote good digestion, so this will take some time. Oh my god, <laughs> how much time? <laughs> Got it. By the way, is Halara here with you? Ah, uh, uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. What? Why? I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like we have legwork to do. Let's search around some more. Oh, we gotta go find her? <laughs> Where could she be? Hmm. There's a question mark over here. I'm gonna talk to you again? Hey. I've got a favor to ask of you. Really? Huh? A favor? What is it? Yeah. There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove, Survival of the Fittest and World Salvation. <sighs> That's one heck of a title. Right. It's the tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. In the end, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Sh sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Doesn't that sound a bit dull? Uh, <laughs> you think so? Hey. If you happen to find the book, I was hoping you'd bring it to me. Because? As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Uh... You sure don't look it. Mm. Well, look around for it if you're so inclined. Uh. I'll just take it easy and wait here. <laughs> His blatant laziness is almost refreshing. <sighs> All right. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. He's the one who talks the most when you're alone together. He does! <laughs> You might see people in need of help while you're moving around town. You can receive a request well, by talking well to them. Take on a request the detective way. You can earn detective points. Come on, hmm. pay attention. If you progress through the chapter without completing a request, it'll stay unsolved. If you progress through the chapter without accepting a request, it'll disappear, so be careful. Are you gonna remember all of this? You can retry if you play the chapter again. Oh, okay. Detective work? Yeah. The book, yes. <sighs> Crow and the Dove. Yes. Excuse me, do you have a bookstore? <laughs> it's urgent. Okay, it looks like there's something here. Is this a request or where I'm supposed to go? Okay, I cannot read maps. You! You look kind of sus. Hi, kid. Could you spare a sec? Uh, What's the matter? Some guy was trying to push his weird book on me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Is it the book? I told him no, but he was so pushy. I don't know if he has a quote or what, but he was real persistent. I'm getting annoyed just thinking about it. It had a really long name, too. Crow something something. That's the book we need. <laughs> Where's the book? <laughs> Could that be the book Vivi is looking for? Um, where did you run into that person? If you take this street toward Ginma District, Jinma, and turn left at the bar, you'll find him. Better stay away though, he's really persistent. I see. Oh, we gotta get the book, guys! Fillion's calling me? Hello? Hello? What's up? Yeah! <laughs> hey, 
Okay, so, uh, can I, can I love you with you? Can I be honest with you? Uh, sure, sure. I need to play Connect 4. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about Connect 4? Okay, sure. I need you to let me win, because if you win, I have to spin again, and currently every time I spin, there's a 70% chance I have to wax one of my orifices. Um, one of your orifices? I wax my armpit, my effing thigh might be next. You need to help me out. <laughs> I don't think that's an orifice, but okay. I don't know, dude. Like, wait, like on like when they cut a diamond, it's got like 80 orifices. Okay. Okay, I can I can play. Really? Okay. I'm gonna send you a link. Sure. Don't leak it. Okay. Here. Connect four. Let's effing get this. Remember, you have to let me win. Okay. I, I should have muted myself for that. <laughs> um. Whoops. Here. Okay. Okay. Play versus a friend. What's my nickname? Cringe. Okay. Um, infinite time. Infinite time. Quiz first, and doesn't matter. <laughs> Copy link. Okay. I'm sending it to you. Okay. I actually am. I promise. Okay, there it is. I sent it. Okay. Come all right, on. All right. She can see everything. Wait, what? Am I leaking it? Wait, what? <laughs> No way. We get here fast! Get here fast! I'm leaking! I think I'm leaking! There are chances I'm leaking! <laughs> Run faster! Yes! Are you Cinder? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Um... Anyone can pretend to be Cinder. Alright. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Give me one second. I need a power up. Have you ever played Connect 4 before? I have actually, yeah. Are you good at it? Um, I don't know. It's been a while. That's fine. Well, you know what else has been a while? Um... That you've gotten a dove in this game? Me getting hoes. Alright, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> My first move, the center move is the obvious one. It's where I always go. But what if I were to do it even better? Yeah? And go one to the left. Cause that's how it curves. Yo, that's crappy! Okay. Right. Yeah, you're such a frick. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys, you guys took my. I let you go first, and you do this to me. You Where went is the first. Honor? What do you Wait. mean? You went first. Why? I, I, I mean, I let you. I let you. You know, I gave you the option to pick the best spot in the game, and you immediately pick it. Yeah. I said, let me win. Okay. And I haven't stopped you. Okay, then I just teabagged you. I'm Mario. You're that thing, Goomba. Hey! <laughs> so what are you doing? Let Fine. Win. I don't actually believe that. Here it is. No. Okay, where okay. are you gonna go now? Why wow, you're so quirky? Okay. Okay. So here's I'm what we're like gonna do. Gamer. I'm gonna do this. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're building a standard deviation here. We're deviating deviously. We're deviating. We're we're deep. We're 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 out here. I got a good idea. <laughs> what do you think you could do now versus me, Syndra? Hmm, Syndra? <laughs> you have no ultimate or flash, and I am playing Aurelia. I'm gonna dive you right now, and you literally will be able to stop me. Okay. okay. Good luck, Come with on. Very good move. However, check this next one out. I don't think you know what you're doing right now. No I am way. building the ultimate collection. Yeah, yeah, so what are you gonna do? You Did you know my out? IQ was tested? I already moved. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> oh, you moved there. Frick, okay. No, I knew that. So I was just waiting for you. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, like, your mom. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah, I know you're gonna okay. make that move. <laughs> I have two connect threes. You understand this? Mm-hmm. Wait a second. <laughs> Do I just win? I guess so. Here. Sick! <laughs> oh, wait. Ah! <laughs> Yay! There you go. You did it. Just let me win. Yeah. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Do you feel satisfied now? No. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, okay, we'll play again. <laughs> fight for real? Yeah, yeah, let's fight for real. <laughs> Fine then, it's your move. Okay. What? Chat, wait, wait, Sin, you know the song is the DBZ song where it goes, ah! And then, and then yeah. like, boom, 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 boom. And then the old Twitch song. Oh, I thought that was just like every episode of DBZ. Ah! Ah! Yeah, what's it song. called, chat? What, what is it called? Rock the Dragon? Is it called Rock the Dragon? He's nuts. <laughs> wait, is it an oh, actual cool. song? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's an actual thing. Oh. Stereo Saiyan? Okay, let me see. Is this it? Uh, Stereo Saiyan. I gotta, I gotta power up. You understand, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta uh, gather your chat's energy. Okay. Here it is. Alright. I see you're moving in the corner, and I'm gonna keep you in the closet. I'm gonna go on the opposite side of the planet from you. Whoa! <laughs> nice. You're here making a very nice polka dotted shape, I do believe. But check out this next move. Bah! Ain't no way. Yeah, well, I can do that too. No, you can't. I can do it cooler. Um, maybe. Uh, I. Here? We Whoa. have made a mirror! We, we made, made a mirror. mirror! We made a mirror! <laughs> Come not on. Quite, not quite. what you got. You think I won't notice the most basic move ever? <laughs> Stop laughing at your death! Guys, she's so cute. Frick you. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Did Winning. you just win? Yeah. No. No, I could just cuck you early. Okay, then cuck me. Oh. Aborted. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Hooey, you got me sweating there for a second. Hooey, <laughs> got me feeling like a cowgirl. All right. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Cinder, you know I have mayo between my toes? What? I I had to put mayo in my socks. I'm wearing them. It feels like sweat, but it's goop. They're actually solidifying and emulsificationing. Why? It's to go even further beyond. You wouldn't get it. Okay. Huh, interesting, okay. If I go here, I lose. But what if I win? But what if I lose? You what is win. in a man? What has he got? I am losing so hard right now. You're actually destroying me. I am flee this position. I gotta take up a new sniper's angle. Hmm. Here. Okay. All right, we got snipers on the rooftops, boys. Mm -hmm. This has been getting intense. <sighs> if you win, I'm gonna have to wax my armpit again or something. You understand <laughs> that, right? Cinder. That sounds like fun. Um. Okay. What if I? Um, what if I... What if I... There? Oh god, I'm not paying attention! I'm having distracted! <laughs> I'm just thinking about the what ifs! Hmm... What if... What if... I... What? Oh, frick. Okay... Wait, what's happening? No, what no, no. can I for? Start over. No, my, my music... My, 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 there it is. Alright, sorry, I just- I gotta concentrate, you- Okay. What if I go... Here! Hmm. Okay. Very clever. Thank you! I'm a clever girl. Oh! I see you. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. <laughs> so, Cinder, what do you usually eat for breakfast? I like peanut butter toast. What? Yeah. You're throwing me off my game, dude. I'm having feng shui's frick now. I love nut butter. Why would you? Why? Why? Because it, it it's yummy. It's mid. <laughs> what am I doing? No. <laughs> Here. Come on! Mm -hmm. Poor action was here. Okay. I just gotta get you to go in the wrong spot. And it's curtains. You understand that? The it's wrong like spot. Arby's. Are there any wrong it's spots? Just, it's just. I won! No! Oh! 
Holy frick, you almost got me! <laughs> Holy wow, frick! You're very observant. Yeah, yeah, well, you're very cool. No! <laughs> no! My win! Dude, are we gonna tie? I don't know, we might. Or are we gonna die? We can we can tie and die together. We're gonna tie die? We can tie then die. Okay. Holy frick, what's going on right now? Holy frickin' frick. I'm blind? Why is my chat saying I'm blind? What, what do I- What do I not see? Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> yes! Oh, and it's the go! And I'm fighting me on! <laughs> Yay! You did it! Good job not what? getting your pits wet. No! <laughs> Yeah. You are a worthy opponent. In fact, one of the greatest I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Thank you. I want to pay you with one compliment. Wow. This is this is super valuable. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you. On the cosmic scale of everything, you could be considered... Pre <gasps> no way! <laughs> She got me! <laughs> that was a good one! That was really good! <laughs> That's fun. Billion's always such a fun time. <laughs> Let me just... Oh, you guys you guys can see the game again. Okay, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome, snackers! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> she didn't scam me. That was just fun. That was really fun. Definitely a more... Uh, uh, skilled opponent than uh, the last opponent I faced in Connect Four <clears throat> when Zen called me. Um, uh, so we gotta go. Hold on, we gotta get this book. We we we're looking for a book. <laughs> no, I threw the I threw the first one. I just I just wanted to toy with my food a bit, you know. <laughs> I don't want to make it too easy for her. She ate me. What are you? <laughs> you This this generic looking guy Ah, that new book comes out today, doesn't it? I'll have to pick it up after work Now that I think about it, the bookstore owner said he had the older edition too Maybe I'll get both Is it the, is it the, the ray, the crow, the crow and the dove? I need to give it to my, my boyfriend, my husband Oh right, Vivia asked me to buy a book for him earlier Yeah Do we have money? Wait Maybe I should ask this guy about it. Seems like he might know a lot about books. Excuse me. I'm looking for an unusual book. Is it unusual? Oh, you like books too? In that case, you should get yourself to the Kamisaki District Bookstore. Ooh! They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they get their hands on them. Oh! That sounds amazing! The store's at the top of the stairs just up ahead. If you're looking for a book, that's the place to check. <gasps> I- you know I'm gonna get attached! Thank you very much. Got it. Thank you. Oh, I hope they have it. I hope they have it. He's going to be so happy. He's going to be so happy. And then he's going to wink at me. And then we're going to fall in love. And we're going to build sand castles together. Hello? Is this? Oh, no. It's up here. Oh, bookstore. Bookstore. Hello? Why does he look like number one? <laughs> he looks like the, the leader of the world detective agency. <laughs> He's in disguise! <laughs> That's literally him! <laughs> He's got the same fucking glasses and the, the facial hair! <laughs> you! Over there! Looking to buy something? I deliver too! Help me out here! <laughs> Business ain't doing so good! <laughs> huh? huh? I deal in all kinds of goods. Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Uh-oh, how are you going to get out of this one? <laughs> Actually, I don't have much money. Just take a look. That don't cost a thing. Come on, just one look. There's a cat in there. I got food, daily necessities, and loads of books. Hmm? Books? Speaking of which... Come to think of it... The guy just fucking told us! 
There was a bookstore. The sign says bookstore. There's a whole ass shelf of books behind him. And you're like, wait a minute. Uh, the books. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Looking for a book, eh? What's it called? Uh, um, hmm. what was that title again? Arrival of the Hippest, Survival of the Fittest? <laughs> Surf Idol Plays Cricket? <laughs> uh, World Salvation, right? World Salvation? Hey, I got that one in stock! Nice taste you got there. This one's a real cult classic. Huh? Really? Yeah, it's a good one, but not too popular. Been having trouble moving it. Gonna take one off my hands? Then... Yes, please. I'd like it to be delivered to the person sleeping under the piano at the hotel. <laughs> no, I want to hand deliver it to him! <laughs> under the piano at the hotel? Well, whatever. So I just gotta get the money from him? <laughs> thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Yes. Guess that means I fulfilled Vivio's request. Not yet, Master! You have to make sure the book reaches its destination! That's true. You're right. Let's go check with Vivia. Why? Just take the book from the man! Oh my god. I guess we don't have money to, to buy the book. Oh my god. Well, I hope he's got it. Uh, That's not the right way. Hold on. No, we, we, we came from this way. We gotta go down another flight of stairs. Yeah, this way. Back to the hotel, and then... And then maybe, maybe he'll give us a, a present. Maybe he'll give us a... A winky woo. Hey! Hey there, Yuma. A shopkeeper just came by with the book. You're amazing. Oh! Uh, you're the one who sent him, right? Thanks. Well? Yeah, did you read it already? Mm. Yeah, it was wonderful. That's nice. What it means to be a crow flying through the air would be amazing. Right. I wonder if I could live free like a crow. To soar through the sky. Boundlessly? No. Just don't jump off a building or anything, okay? Mm. Right. I was considering it. It seems the book had an impact on me. That's nice. Truly a wonderful read. Thank you, Yuma. Oh, you're welcome! You're welcome! Plus 100 detective points! He loves me. Yippee! Nail man! The culprit behind the cereal- Wait! Oh! Hey, did you hear about the clock tower case at Gima District? Gima. I heard it's the nail man again. <gasps> Yeah, the culprit was already caught. What? There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? Nail man? They mentioned a case. He's got the best nails in the entire city. <laughs> Okay. But we have to find Halara first. True. <laughs> she brought the chain out again. This color works here too. Yep, until this world ends. <laughs> We're just getting dragged. <laughs> I'm just moving the camera around. <laughs> She's actually dragging me. <laughs> oh, this game. 
high-class commercial area of Kanai War. There are cafes and restaurants and a large art gallery and clock tower. Hmm. I'm gonna have the chain with the cosplay. <laughs> um, that's Yuma's chain. Not Shinigami's chain. <laughs> The environments are so pretty. And over <gasps> here! Dinosaur! This is Gima District. We got here by just wandering around. Hmm. Wait, you didn't know where you were going? <laughs> it feels different from Kamasaki District. God? It's still raining as usual, <gasps> but the area looks The like eyes are glowing! Chaos. Oh, that's the Not art gallery. the buildings, the people too. Everyone looks totally rich. Crazy different from the poor as we saw back there. Hmm. I hate poor people. Oh. All the poor have deranged personalities. You can't just say that! <laughs> I think it depends on the person. Yeah! <laughs> so where's the clock tower that incident happened at? Like I said, we need to find Halara first. Maybe Halara's checking out the incident. Listen, Master. As Wait. A mentor, I'll teach you something important. What if? What if Halara's? Detectives prioritize investigations above all else <laughs> more than your parents Pick or them. nature's call itself. All right, fine. I'll go. Guess I'll ask around first. Don't forget this stuff. Basically, the bus can be used to travel to places you've already visited. Wow. However, depending on master situation, there are times when the bus may not be available. So you gotta be patient. I see. You can also travel to a different location by opening the Kanai Ward map from the notebook menu and selecting travel by bus. Okay. Excuse me, do you know anything? Take a look at this state-of-the-art umbrella. I got this new Amaterasu Corporation tech before anyone else. Drone umbrella? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What's with the blank look? Don't you understand the value of this drone umbrella? <laughs> now that I've had a look at you, you don't dress appropriately to be from Gima District. Sorry, I don't have expensive clothing taste. As you can see, we sell elegant and high-end products here. I have no money. You're better off at <laughs> Kamasaki District. Oh, he's an uh, asshole. Bro, I just want to ask about the the mystery. Such a weird decoration. Wow. A dinosaur fossil. It's so cool. I get it. We should extract its DNA and recreate it. Even if we could, we need to stop and ask if we should. Better not. Wow. So cool. Oh my god, it's so pretty here. Oh, we need to go this way. Hello? You, you have a, a quest for me. What should I do? Something happened to my baby. Uh oh. I'm sure she's fine, probably. Oh. Hmm. Looks like they have a problem. Master, what do you want to do? Yeah. I can't just ignore them. Let's hear what they have to say. Uh, Excuse me, is something wrong? Our our child suddenly vanished! Huh? That's it! A lost kid! Boring! Our little girl was spirited away! <laughs> I just know it! Hmm? Spirited away? Oh, that's an interesting combination of words! What does being spirited away mean? Lately, there's been a rumor spreading through Kamasaki District. Children are just suddenly disappearing. Even though you never let them out of your sight, they're gone in an instant or spirited away. It seems that none of the other kids who've been spirited away have returned. Oh, please let her be safe. Then... Where did you last see her? It was in Kamasaki District. We were shopping together. Oh, I'm so worried. If something's happened to her. Hmm. I have other things I need to be doing, but... <laughs> Let's help. Yeah. Okay, I'll find her. You two wait here. He will. Thank you so much. Oh, this is a photo of our girl. She's wearing the same clothes today, so this might help you recognize her. I'm begging you, please find her. Okay. 
So, can I see the picture? Picture. Requests. No. If you're that lost, no. why not check your notes? No. Requests. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. Yuma, blah, blah, blah. Can I see the picture? Okay. <laughs> there is no picture. How am I supposed to find it? You gotta show it to me! <laughs> There's literally nothing. Uh, I guess? Oh! Hmm? Could that thing over there be the clock tower? It looks like one. No doubt about it! Let's take a look, Master! There are more sections? Isn't it just back and forth between the different... I think it's just... Ones that I, I still have yet to solve, and then ones that I have solved. Hold on, hold on. New abilities? On, pay attention. Oh, this is where I can upgrade pay, master. Set whichever skills, my skill tree. Best. Skills. And status. Profiles. Get the job oh! Your brain. <gasps> we can learn about the characters! This is cool. <gasps> I'm blocking it. He likes detective novels. He dislikes amnesia. <laughs> He's a detective in training and he doesn't have a talent. <laughs> it's Shinigami. She likes Yuma. She dislikes boredom. She's a death god. She can go into the mystery labyrinth. Another Shinigami. This is just like the same information, but it's a true form. <gasps> That's so cool. Look at her with her scythe. Cool. Yeah, we got like character lore. He likes Kamasaki District meat buns. <gasps> we can buy him a meat bun. He dislikes debt. <laughs> His talent is flair for negotiation. Ooh, are we going to learn? Hold on. Is this going to be spoilers for what their abilities are? Maybe we should hold off. It's so simple. You can review in-game terminology. Oh, okay, that's that. helpful. In case I forget. Alrighty, let's go to the clock tower. When we go back to um, Kamasaki District. Which way to the clock tower? Yes. Oh, this isn't the clock tower. Oh, it's down another street. Um, when we go back. Then I will look for the child. <gasps> this is so cool and high tech! Look at this! Showing restraint? Yeah! I take the, these kind of games seriously. I don't want any kind of spoilers or hints. I don't even want to risk it. Out of it. Sure hope nobody's dead. I don't know, I feel like we might see a crime scene at the clock tower. There are clocks set in all four of its sides, so the time of day can be seen from anywhere. Nice! <clears throat> Ooh, it's really pretty up close! Are you a lost missing child? Nah. Look at all those robber neckers. I'm sorry? Hey, I heard the mailman got caught. What? The serial killer? Hmm. Something tells me that's not the case. Serial killer? So, what's this nailman guy like? Is his face covered with nails? He's not called nailman because he's covered in them, idiot. <laughs> Didn't you hear about the nails all over the crime scenes? He nails the victims. Nails all over the crime scenes? <laughs> She's getting so excited. <laughs> was another locked room mystery, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> mystery? All right. 
<laughs> I'm getting I'm getting excited too. I'm hearing lots of exciting phrases, one after another. <laughs> I just might start drooling. Master, let's hurry and check it out. You okay. Can't. Oh, why? It's already sealed off by the peacekeepers. Damn. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Huh? Oh, uh, good morning. <laughs> Girl, you're gonna get us in trouble! Who are you? Um, did something happen here? The place is off limits to outsiders. Get lost. Yikes. Sorry. Why are you so quick to back down? <laughs> We're, so We're supposed to lay low, girl! Take a look around. There's no way I can get any closer. Don't tell me to push my way through the peacekeepers. I don't want them setting their sights on me. Right. Besides, the murderer has already been caught. There's no point in me getting involved. Hmm. And you call yourself a detective? A detective will always crave more info about the crime. <laughs> I like the big lips. <laughs> the big pouting lips. <laughs> it's so goofy. It's Besides, I'm not even a proper detective. Stop that, Yuma. Master, don't tell me you're worried about being a trainee. It's more like... I just don't get it. Why am I even trying to become a detective? Because you're good at it. I mean, will I ever regain my memories? I don't know. Without them, I don't know how to feel about working at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Oh, Master, what's important isn't your past. It's your future. I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place, Shinigami. Well, you agreed to the contract, bro. Well, if you're so fixated on the past, why don't you follow in the footsteps of your past self? Huh? What do you mean? Aim to become a detective as a trainee. If you aim for the same destination, all paths will eventually lead to one place. Hmm. Which means that one day, you should understand how your past self felt. I get the feeling you're just saying that, so I'll do what you want me to. <laughs> you're so smart! Besides, how am I supposed to try to become a detective? Through investigating cases, obviously. So, let's scope out that clock tower. How about it, future detective? Yeah, you're just trying to make me do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, fine. For now, I'll ask around about what happened. Maybe this case has something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. That's the spirit, Miss Dearful. Miss Dearful. The nail man's crime scenes are always locked rooms filled with nails. Hmm. So he's got a he's got a signature. I mean, couldn't Shinigami use her powers to just, like, bring us in there somehow? Oh, wait, this is information here. Uh, pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh, yeah. I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Hmm. Huh? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. He had a lot of weapons on him. Among them was a hammer. So he's the culprit for sure. That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's still running around. We gotta solve the case. <laughs> After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails where he was just goes. like a carpenter. <laughs> he was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. That sure does sound suspicious. <laughs> they arrested the local carpenter. Can you imagine? I'm gonna get across the street again. We go back in front of the the dinosaur statue. Hello, sir. Um, 
what do you have to say about the, uh, the crimes? Excuse me, I heard that the criminal called the Nail Man was caught? Really? That's big news. I better tell everyone. Oh no. So who Gossip is loving this man? Nail man? What? You don't know? I'm sure you've at least heard about it. He's the mysterious Nail Man, Cronai <laughs> Ward's most famous urban legend. Huh? Urban legend? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. I'm not from here. Huh? You should count yourself lucky then. Oh? Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? Uh, no? A nail man can make that wish come true. What? Is he a hitman? All you need to oh. do is write down the name of someone oh, you wish That's a big for. nail! Someone oh, that's a big... So much you could kill. That's a stake! That's then a fucking a spear! Person, nail the name tag to it and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. What? Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. Chat, don't hype him up. <laughs> he looks cool. <laughs> oh, scary. I can't handle horror stories. But that's just an urban legend, right? Right? It was until six months ago. For the past six months, corpses kept turning up covered in nails. Someone decided to be the urban legend. People were in an uproar talking about how the nail man is real. But now, he's been caught. Hmm. What kind of person would want to copy the nail man? He must have a screw loose or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not the screw man. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> a killer from an urban legend. <laughs> That's a different kind of criminal. <laughs> Look, Master. All the hairs on my body are standing on end. What hair? But you don't have any hair. <laughs> I swear. I must have like subconsciously wrote the dialogue for this game. All right, we've got one more person to talk to, it looks like. Excuse me. Inside. Time for a break. Hello? I'm so bad with reading maps. <laughs> A cafe, huh? I wonder if I often came to places like this before I lost my memory. Mm -hmm. Huh? Master hanging out in cafes? I don't see it. I mean, maybe. Aww. Oh, oh, it's outside. It's not inside the cafe. Out. Oh, right there, right there, right there. You, you're pretty. Um, there seems to have been some sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh my, really? Such troubled times we live in. Oh my, my, my. It's that man again, right? I've heard there were numerous cases. You mean the nail man? That's the one! There was a commotion not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm, the museum or the art gallery? In any case, I'm glad he's been caught. Damn. I'd heard there were no clues at crime scenes because they all occurred in locked rooms with no way in or out. She has a drone umbrella? Yeah, we had some other stuck up guy bragging about the. the what was it? Drone umbrella? Umbrella drone? Something. It was like a mashup of the two words. <laughs> he was an ass though. But I love technology. Yeah, this is the like, the, the stuck up, fancy, expensive district. <sighs> I'm so relieved. Drone umbrella. <laughs> By the way, who are you? You got some nerve talking to me as if you know me. Everybody here sucks! Oh, sorry. I guess that's all the info you can extract from these snooty people. Mm. Still, I think I get the gist of it. These nail man cases are based off an urban legend. They started six months ago. A similar case happened at the clock tower today. But a suspect was apprehended. I mean, we got some info. That's about it. 
there's nothing else for me to know. Wait, what about those cases? They all happened in locked rooms, right? I haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet! <laughs> Give it to me! I want it now! I, I doubt we can see the scene of the crime. Let's just head back. Wait a minute. The first mystery was a locked room mystery. Did you forget that already? Come on, just a peek. Let's check out the clock tower one last time. <laughs> just one look, okay? You're the best detective, the president of our company. Maybe we can break in. <sighs> He's so cute in his little rain hat. His little bucket hat. Yes, thank you. Where we're headed. <laughs> Mailman. She in. Currency. A luxury car can be purchased for five million. Polluted river. Priest's eyes. Few people have seen the. Hmm. Is he gonna be important later? Damn! Something's up. Yeah, what's happening over there? It's a child. Yeah. Why are you so angry? Excuse me. What the? Are you okay? Can you stand up? Aww. Come on, let's go. Y you might. <laughs> Police, um, I don't think you can just go in and, and be like, come on, <laughs> I'm taking the child. Hey, wait! I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice! Oh my god, did you arrest the, a goddamn child? Uh, uh, what do I do? What were you thinking? <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? You just doomed yourself! You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Listen, you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, please, listen to me. Put both hands on your head and get down. Any other action will be seen as resistance. Miranda rights don't apply. There she is. A coin? She's gonna save us! Oh my god! Alora! Hey, we've been looking for you. <laughs> Can you do that to me next? <laughs> Thank you, Alora. A reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single coin. This could have cost her life. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. R right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm glad that happened. Huh? Some impressive athleticism. I'm like you, Master. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Uh, uh, hey, are you okay? Please, my dad needs help. Happens. Please, get my dad back from them! <gasps> Did they arrest your dad? He's innocent, huh? I know. They got the wrong guy. You get your dad back? What do you mean? My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. They say he's the It local was the local boy. carpenter! <laughs> dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. Oh my god! How do we call it? So, your dad is innocent. <laughs> hey, no way! My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason. There was a man with a hammer by the clock tower. And because the nail man has nails, you need a hammer Please. for the nails, so. Please! <laughs> That's the guy! <laughs> Get back from 
so you want us to prove your father's innocence. Is that insane? This game would be so easy. This whole like franchise would be so easy if the murder plots weren't always so convoluted. <laughs> like, let's be real. Assignment? Y yes. I figured you could do it since you took them down so easily. How much do you have ready? Huh? The kid doesn't have any money? <laughs> huh? Oh, he's crying! You made him cry! Y you mean money? I don't work for cheap. <laughs> Lara! <laughs> oh my god! He's like seven! <laughs> I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. <laughs> Look at him just standing there blinking! Like, <laughs> what is he gonna do? <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> he I just wants his dad this. back! <laughs> is that a ball? My dad and I played catch together all the time. Oh. It's my most prized possession. <gasps> oh my god. Hmm. So you're gonna take it? Uh, hey! Out of the question. Oh, Lara, wait! You're not going to accept his request? Why should I? She's mean! She's badass! But mean! The only way to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. I thought you're here to solve mysteries, not make bank! If they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove their resolve. That's not what resolve means! <laughs> She's too much of a baddie, yeah! <laughs> to me, they might as well not even exist. Big talk for someone who's all about the money. Mm -hmm. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? Got those, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he not offer enough? The ball itself may not be worth much, but the sentimental value it represents is priceless. Right. If you think so, then you should take on the job. Wow, I fucking will. Huh? Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. Oh my- Yes, we know. We know. So are you going to, to take the blame for the knocked out policeman? Uh, how much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary estimates mark it at around 5 million yen. That's how much a, a sports car was. Didn't, didn't we just read that? Shin? Is that currency? How much is that? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. Yeah! <laughs> a luxury car? That much? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Damn. Hmm. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. You will need my help eventually. And when you do, call on a detective named Halara Nightmare. She got me with that wink. <clears throat> okay, maybe I don't play hate, hate you. Maybe, maybe I, we just don't agree. We, we, it's okay. We can agree to disagree sometimes. I still really like you. <laughs> huh. So, what'll you do, Master? Well, I have to do this myself. <laughs> the kid's just the standing emoji. <laughs> Scope out locked room mysteries. Yeah. Hey, leave your dad to me. Mm -hmm. He'll be fine. I hope. I he probably will be. I definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, are you confident or not? Thank you. Please save uh, my dad. I'll do my best. Also, hold on. Hold on. I need to move. Do you see? 
Do you see this guy? Like, laying down with his ass up in the air? <laughs> huh? Is, did he fall like that? He probably saw what Halara looked like after, after she beat him up and he was like, oh. Gone. I mean, they'll probably wake up. Hey, wait. Before that, is this foreshadowing that they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna wake up? Oh. Oh. Wow! It's the clock tower murder report. This is a great find. Just as I thought. The details of the case are on here. Nice. Clock tower murder case report. Crime scene. Clock tower storage, third floor. Victim, female, age 20s to 30s. Identity to be confirmed. What? Estimated time of death unknown. Time of discovery, approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m. And it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. And they don't know who the victim is? Like, they... They haven't found out yet? Or they, like, actually can't... Another body. Figure anyway, it out. Master, there's more to that report, right? There better be! That's like nothing! Oh. First on scene, clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during the investigation. The murder is suspected of being related to the nail man killing. A suspicious person behind the church? But the area behind the church is... All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Like the death note. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. Death Note with a couple extra steps. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. That's where the forest to summon the nail man is located. They pursued someone they thought was the nail man and found the body. Mm-hmm. No, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. But as there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. There we go! Locked room mystery time! <laughs> Yay! Yes, <laughs> I don't know why you're so excited. Does the nail man turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? Mm hmm. A phantom who vanishes <laughs> like smoke. In a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Suspect apprehended a suspicious individual near the clock tower. Suspect was found with multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime. Name GA Colon 48. Occupation unknown. He's gonna be the carpenter. He's the clock tower repairman. <laughs> The suspect claimed he was repairing the clock. No witnesses or alibis. The peacekeeper's current investigation suspects him to be the nail man. Communicate only the information found in this report to the media. Interesting. The peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the nail man. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. <laughs> now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. <laughs> yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up, you should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. Oh, you were so sweet. All right. Now off to the clock tower we go. Actually, let me just make sure. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, oh, can I get through here? Oh. This fence is completely rusted. There's a lock on it, and it doesn't seem like there's a way through. Why not just go grah and kick it down? I definitely can't do that. Oh, <laughs> I want that! Is there another way around? Maybe, maybe we can go through the clock tower. That's just a light. There's no like hole for me to squeeze my way into. Maybe we can find a key. Art gallery. Oh. Some loading screens are quicker than others. Oh. The ambience in here is so unsettling. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, I'm just Oh. <laughs> yep, yep. Use the stairs so you don't get fat. <laughs> There's no elevator. You can do it, master. Thank you. I've got great stamina. I must be like really in shape. This is the second floor. There's not much to the second floor. Just want to make sure there's not like any key lying around, you know? So when are you going to transform into your uh, your full power form again? I think we're all we're all wondering. Okay, there's the door. What's this though? Beep beep boo boo. The storage room is on the third floor of the clock tower, right? Okay, fine. I won't be curious. Crime happened in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Yes. So it should be right behind Thank this you. door. Thank you. Yes. There For the fourth be time. A corpse still in there. You've already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. <laughs> Too many. That doesn't mean I want to see any more. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Huh? Until I opened that door, none of it felt very real to me. Is the blood still going to be pink? I'd been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. Is that a doll? Oh yeah, the... the... <gasps> the blood's pink! It's pink! Shit. What? Is this? So why was it red in the first? Is that a Wait. real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? Jeez, it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. Yeah, pink as blood is like a staple for Dong and Rump again. Across this stuff all the time as a detective. So don't be scared. Investigate. Uh, hurry, before the peacekeepers come back. All right, before they wake up. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. Hmm, that's true. You can either accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now Not take that a simple. look around before someone gets in your way. Chop, chop. That's a lot of dolls. <sighs> Fine. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start the investigation. Whoever wanted this person to die must really, really wanted it to happen. Oh, also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. It will all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. I don't want to go back there anymore. <laughs> well, someone will die once the mystery is solved. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. 
That place is suspicious. It's like the executions. Inspect an investigation marker to gather information to solve the case. Yes. Okay, um... What's with all the dolls, though? I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? Yeah. The moment we've all been waiting for! You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't ya? I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse and not a doll. She had a necklace. The bloodstain pattern. I don't know weird. who this woman is. The peacekeeper report didn't include any details. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. Was she strangled? Cut the chatter, master. Hurry, hurry. This is terrible. The body is covered in nails, pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Oh, okay. That, like... The splotch of blood that's round, and it looks like there's little, like, spikes coming off of it. That almost looks like a, like a medallion. Like a big, like a big chunky necklace that could have been around her neck. But I don't know. Maybe that's just... It just looks weird to me. It looks really weird. Not, not like around her neck. More like closer to her chest. No, not the rope mark around her neck. No, not the choker. No, 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 no. No, lower, lower. Like right above, right above the nail on her shoulder. It almost looks like... Yeah, you see it? Yeah, like the blood got on something else. It looks like a rope burn. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Strangled then pin? A bunch of times. So she was killed by strangulation? The peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Yeah, wow, great detectives. Hmm, I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. They didn't investigate at Oh, mm. they got the chance to see a corpse up close, and they blew it. <laughs> In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. The victim's cause of death was likely strangulation, but the peacekeeper's report did not mention anything about it. This is the yep, window. It's a corpse. Okay, well, the floor is wet. Probably the rain. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. But it's on the third floor. No, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. According to the peacekeeper report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. So they've been left alone like this. But they were open at some point. Well, hey, how about you try opening them? <sighs> it won't open. It's locked. If it's locked from the inside, you should be able to open it. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? How do we open them? Maybe there's a secret password or something. What? No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. Oh my god. You knew the window was locked. And you didn't look for the latch to unlock the window before you tried opening the window. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. Hmm. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. 
So it's not like you can scale the building and climb the window. I mean, maybe. Maybe you could scale the tower and climb into the window. It's impossible to jump off from here. Even if you tried climbing down, there's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Hmm, it'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. But not impossible! Hmm? What's that sound? Oh, it's locked again. Oh, it locks automatically when it closes. Does it? Master, ah. why are you still playing with the shutters? You want to be friends with them? No, that's not it. Now it won't go down. Interesting. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And then automatically locks. Okay, so you technically could jump out the window <laughs> and then have the window lock behind you. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. I don't get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. Oh my god, Shinigami. I'll make them a solution key for you. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. The cops are trash? Well, we're... <laughs> We live in a corrupt society in this in this world, or at least this this city. There's a reason why master detectives were called in to uh, <laughs> to help the people here. The shutters stop when they raise completely. They lock automatically when they're completely lowered. Hmm? There's something under the window. What's that? Did you find something interesting? The dolls? The water? Yeah. That's from the rain. Probably. Maybe not. The bottom of the window is wet. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. No. The parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then maybe it's the tears from the nail dolls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no more horror stuff. More dolls? Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. The rope around the nails and the dolls, and then... Then how would you get the rope off? On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Hmm. This is suspicious. Because there had to be some way to repel this. out of the window. There are scuff marks on the nails driven into the dolls. Yeah. I don't know why there's so many, though. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. What a ghastly sight. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. <laughs> it would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail man. Maybe. But don't you nail a doll with a name on a tree in the forest? To, to summon the legend? All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Do, do the dolls represent how many people he's killed? Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. Like another victim? But why would the culprit go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? Or maybe it's the real nail <gasps> man. No! <laughs> now I'm scared! <laughs> I told you I'm not good with occult and horror stuff! Just real life murder.
some of the doors? This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. To get into the crime scene. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. So the inner lock is the type or eternal latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. Hmm. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They so might have it can... was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Well, I mean, nobody could use the key to open the door. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. Right. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. The door in the clock tower was locked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that should be enough. And maybe that's all the investigating I can do. And that's a wrap! An investigation can be ended once you're finished examining everything. Once you're finished. Yeah. Feel free to stop whenever. Okay. <laughs> I see, I see. There's something else. And what's up? Why are you staring at a wooden box? You know. I thought there might be a clue related to the case. It's covered in dust and there's no evidence it was moved. It's probably not relevant, right? Right, let's look somewhere else. But But I need the key! I need the key to the gate. You don't understand how important this is to me. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> what else is... No, I was gonna... Oh, end. That should do it for the investigation for now. Yeah, I get it. Without a doubt, this murder crime scene is... Locked room mystery! <laughs> it's an impossible crime! Nothing's impossible! The door was locked from the inside, and the only window had shutters that were also locked. It's a locked room mystery! <laughs> so cute! Cute! <laughs> That's your sniff? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you gotta... You gotta be more... You know, like that. What are you... Doing? I'm taking in this luscious locked room atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. They're gonna be awake, and they're gonna oh, ambush you right. and arrest you. They probably already took the child. So, I mean, is there like a key? Now that we're done investigating, like the actual investigation, please, <laughs> please. Oh yeah, the roof. Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? Should we take a look? Yes. I almost forgot about that. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. Just an attic? I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Oh, so that's the clock. The giant clock! Oh, that's the clock. Was he about to head back home after fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. Probably doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. <sighs> well, I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. <gasps> I wonder if we get the key from the, the clock repairman. Maybe he'll give it to us. Okay, so we... I don't think we can go up there. That's probably what we gotta do. It's like a reward. Mm-hmm. A work apron made by camera... What? Oh, this is the... This is the, um... The... The repairman. 
That was his name, right? Oh, it's you. Over here. I guess they're still knocked out. Huh? What's the matter? What's up? Find a body or something? Oh my god. What's up, little Over dude? Here. <gasps> there is a gap in the fence. Yes. Oh, Hell yeah. Over here. Are uh. you keeping up, Master? All right, hold on. P pause. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Amethyst. Oh, Halara. This one's for Halara. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Um, <laughs> you need to wait. <laughs> Gab with Halara. We don't have anybody, any for anybody else, right? No. Ooh, waifu time! Yeah. What else, Weaver? Thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Cinder. I'm the Hellhound VTuber. Oh, woo! I'm actually kind of cosplaying uh, <laughs> one of the, the main characters. Uh, she's a death god, and I love her very much. Um, we were playing Rain Code, and it's a murder mystery game. If you're not familiar with like Danganronpa, it's very similar to that. Hope you had a great stream. Thank you so much again for the raid. And for those of you who want to stick around for some mysteries, we're solving a murder right now. There is somebody who was nailed to the floor and killed in a locked room. But first, we got a uh, we got a secret hangout event with a with a, a baddie. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna gain gain a tr gain our trust and make memories and get closer to Halara. Priorities. We're not gonna help the child rescue his dad who was wrongly arrested for a murder that he didn't commit. We're, we're gonna take a quick little break <laughs> and we're gonna hang out with a baddie. You guys are gonna love this. Hey, you come here often? Oh, he's just not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> oh, no, I got careless and ended up alone with Halara. Is that a bad thing? I guess I should be the one to start the conversation. I'm the rookie, after all. <laughs> but what do I say? <laughs> oh, it's not that hard. Say hello, or, or like, what you're thinking about, you know? Do you feel awkward? Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can see right through me! It's natural to strike up a conversation when two people aren't together. Such is the mundane way of the masses. You're overtaxing your tiny brain to do so, aren't you? Oh my god! <laughs> w well, sort of. My tiny brain, she's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a dumb wolf. Then how about you and I have a wager? Uh, I mean, we, we we started a conversation, so we're making progress. Uh, but I thought the chief said no more gambling. The boss said it's forbidden, so you won't do it. You think I can be swayed by that sort of logic? Oh. <sighs> She's such a baddie. <laughs> Besides, Gambling can nurture skills that every detective needs. Um, can you teach me? I believe it will be to your benefit. And what sort of skills are you talking about? Instead of always asking for answers, why not figure it out for yourself for once? She's like, uh, Byakuya. Yeah, think <laughs> Yeah, idiot. <laughs> oh, a skill needed by detectives which can be trained by gambling. Making money? Observation skills. Observational skills? That's right. Gambling isn't merely decided by coincidence. For example, in poker, you can study the cards already in play, as well as the expressions of dealers and players. That's why you should have a poker face, so people can't read your expression. 
You observe all that, make logical deductions, and commence battle. How about it? Wouldn't you agree those are the skills every detective needs? Yeah. I get what you're saying, but... When are you going to stop nitpicking? <laughs> After all you made me explain, you will have to play a match with me. But there's no way I stand a chance against you. Not to worry. We'll do a warm-up first, with nothing wagered. Okay. I'm not going to hustle a beginner straight off the bat. Can every time be a warm-up? Okay. Can it be a warm-up until I win? <laughs> yes, I beat you. It was just a coin flip? That's what we bet on? It was just a game of heads or tails. But still, you show some promise. That has nothing to do with observation. <laughs> That's actually just chance. <laughs> as a detective and no yes you can oh. say that <laughs> she said yes wait she likes me now the real game begins first let's wager i think we should start with ten thousand shien right i think it's like it's like yen so a hundred dollars is that a hundred wait no that'd be a thousand Wait. A thousand. Right? No, wait. How much did you say? Ten? Yeah. <laughs> Seventy. Yeah, that's right. The conversion rate isn't exactly one to one. Oh, we lost. This isn't how it was supposed to go. <laughs> Don't be foolish. I lost the warm up so you'd feel that rush. And mistake your own skill. Level. How do you intentionally lose a coin flip? It's rather obvious I did it on purpose. <laughs> I let you get carried away and made you take a gamble against me. That's how casinos get people. Z that's terrible. Ah, oh, he got completely hustled. You picked the wrong detective to mess with. I think that was a rather good learning experience. Yeah? It's crucial for detectives to doubt other people's intentions, no matter the circumstances. I won't charge you interest for now, but you must tell me immediately when you've developed a pain. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Laura is totally ruthless. I think we got closer today. <laughs> Master, you and Halara seem closer. <laughs> yeah, now I owe her money. <laughs> Growing our our uh, coworker relationships. Yeah, that's all they are. We're just coworkers. Um, worshippers pastime. Worshipper. Are you a worshipper? Oh yeah, we were helping this child. Anyway, uh... <laughs> While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building. While you were, were trying to flirt with that lady? <laughs> and I found these. Footprints? Oh, <gasps> The kid's a detective! Maybe these belong to the culprit. What? The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. <laughs> While you were getting bitches, I was getting clues on my dad. <laughs> there are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> but it's only the heel portion. The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. Hmm. They could be loafers. No. I know somebody who wears loafers. Because I, I study designs. Uh oh. 
But the footprints seem strange. Oh? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. Yes. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. Yes, to scale the wall. You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall facing man now? Is this just a coincidence? Coincidence? Or does it have something to I do with think the murder? not. Um, what do you think? Yeah, Detective Daddy wears loafers. So, <laughs> I don't like the way that sounds. Hmm. Well, to be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. At the very least. I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. Well, if he's a repairman, he probably has boots. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad use? Wait, wear? who wears fucking loafers in a rainy town, rainy city? That's been raining for three years and doesn't look like it's gonna let up anytime soon. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> huh? His shoes? He usually wears sneakers. Mm. He was wearing them today. So those can't be his footprints. Does he ever wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. He would be one thing if he <gasps> didn't own a set Wait. Of pair of loafers. Wait! But I can't rule him out yet. Hold on, you guys. Still, Hold on. I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these the kid, footprints. The kid's uh, eyes look like clocks. In case, I'll remember it for you. They look like, ha like, like hands of a clock. There were suspicious footprints facing the wall in the grassy area behind the clock tower. So, Look you it! You can find the real Look at his eyes! They're like hands on a clock! That's so cute! There's been a lot of characters so far that have like fitting eyes, like eye designs. They're all different and unique, which is really, really cool. Yeah, I think. No, Yuma has a uh, magnifying glass. I might need a little more eyes. time though. I see. Oh, but don't worry. I'll find a way. <laughs> Thematic irises. Yeah. Thank you. Aww. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. Mm. While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. Um, did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Um, my dad went out late last night to work on the clock. So I didn't see him this morning. Hmm. He was out since last night. So he stayed the night here? That's his job. Huh? His job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them. He also sells them. Watches and wall clocks too. But wasn't somebody... Somebody must have sent him to fix this clock, right? Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait, the Peacekeeper report said his occupation was unknown. Hmm, kinda sus. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the Nailman murders. Maybe it's more convenient if they don't specify his occupation, because if they said he was a the clock maker, clock worker, then they'd be like, oh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> oh, he's getting framed as the culprit. They made up their minds and dropped the investigation. Yep. Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No, he only checks on that clock once a year. But yesterday, he got an urgent request to fix it. That sounds like a setup. The clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. Hmm. He hates it? Why? Because... He's afraid of heights. Aww. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. A fear of heights. So he definitely wouldn't want to climb up the fucking window. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Master, you're improving <laughs> so much thanks to my training. You're even getting better at pretending to think. <laughs> oh, thank 
you. I'm not pretending. I'm serious here. According to the watchmaker's son, his father is afraid of heights. Uh oh. Hmm? I hear noise outside. Are they awake? I hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Let's take a look. If all the peacekeepers wake up, they'll be sure to pay you back for this. N no, they're still. They're still on the ground. Well. Who are you? What a cool raincoat! Everyone, please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief Seth Burrows. Oh, he is not a good guy. Oh, he's very bad. He's got a monocle though, so he's got some cool points. That's like plus 10 cool points. You're late. <laughs> okay, he's a little up. shit. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief Seth Burrows. It wasn't on. <laughs> Everyone's stupid. <laughs> Many of them have been eliminated already, but I've heard some outsiders have recently arrived. Go find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. Um, <laughs> it's surely not me. Oh. Did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. He's not. The rain in the I'm city makes good bodies to raise rot my voice. quickly. You better hurry or it will... putrefy. Ugh. That's nasty. I love the like neon reflective. To speed this case along, we need to quickly coat. deal with that nail man we arrested. I like little ears. We should even consider a public execution. His outfit is so majestic, but he's an asshole. I can just tell. I get asshole vibe from him. It's okay, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. This Seth guy doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. And then somebody else is gonna get nailed, and then everybody's gonna be like, Wait, that wasn't the right guy? In this city, what they say becomes the truth. Please! Please save my dad! It's okay, I've seen a lot of, uh, executions before, um... They usually take a while, so... We've got the time. The way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. I can do it. Leave it to me. Really? Thank you! But first, we have to leave this area before they find us. I know a secret way out. <laughs> yeah, this one time a guy got turned into butter. <laughs> you can pass through here to get back to a street in Ginma District. You might stand out if you're with me, so I'll go a different direction. Okay, okay. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? <laughs> Funniest shit I ever seen! <laughs> yeah, um, there's executions in Danganronpa, which is very similar to this game, uh, in terms of murder mysteries and, uh, figuring out the case and stuff. Uh, yeah, one guy gets turned into butter as his execution, so... <laughs> yes, I play around here often. Yeah. Um... Please help my dad. Yeah, just you wait. I'll bring some good news soon. There was another guy who was battered and deep fried in a volcano.
Yeah, they're pretty weird. <laughs> Those are the goofy ones. If you want like the legitimately like dark and fucked up executions, you should play V3. <laughs> Let's not go that way. As much as I want to explore. Yeah, I think V3 was my favorite. Metal Fox. The religion practice at the church in Kanai Ward. Its symbol is a spear piercing a crescent moon. Its core doctrine is thou shalt not bear old prejudices. Huh. Interesting. You sure you want to be so quick to make promises? I'm not very confident, <laughs> but I can't ignore someone asking for help. Aww. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Yeah. Wow, get a load of this big shot. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect that from you, master. Why upside down? But how do you plan to find the real culprit? You can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. Hmm. If you jump into the labyrinth now, we'll be lost forever. Oh, great. You need to gather more solutions. Thank you for <laughs> the warning. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Then how do you intend on solving this? There is one way. You're gonna rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. <laughs> what was the spot again? Something about a cafe? Golden Path Cafe. You let them take the lead? You're gonna be out five million yen, right? <laughs> Do you have that kind of money, Master? No. Or are you gonna go into debt? Probably. Oh, other side. You. Oh, there she is. Alara, I forgot why we were here. Please help me. I was trying to break in the back. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better do the same. <laughs> please, for both our <laughs> sakes. Oh. <laughs> You're thirty minutes later than expected. Well, you see, um, those guys you so, knocked out woke up. Do you have the cash? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have any on me right now, but I will eventually. I won't! Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me 5,500,800 yen eventually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> huh? But you said it was 5 million before. It's an additional fee for making me wait. <laughs> and for the coffee. I told you I don't work for. How shit. much was that coffee? Oh come on. Oh, eight hundred. So ruthless. Expensive coffee. A greedy little money demon. I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. <laughs> Hell Aura. <laughs> I won't force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. While you think it over, I'm going to order some cake. Ooh. Wait. Do I have to pay for that too? Of course. <laughs> I'll add it to the bill. <laughs> all right, I'll pay you all 5.5 .5 million and 800 shin. Got it? You forgot the cake. Please don't have the cake. Oh. <laughs> it's a deal. You made a wise choice. I have no obligation to help others, but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. That is my pride as a detective. I don't want to be that person, but... If she's one of the one that dies, then we won't have to pay her back. I'm just saying. I will be your I don't want her to go, but <laughs> I'll help solve this crime with everything I have. 
However, no she's risk. very involved in this case right now, so I have a feeling that we're gonna get attached and she's gonna be very helpful and then we're gonna like her more and more and more and then all of a sudden, she's gonna be gone, so. Uh, me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. <laughs> For 5.5 million currency? You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. As long as floor game video <laughs> stays, I'm good. <laughs> In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Oh, I thank you. Really, Halara? You'll be my assistant? Of course. I'm here to assist per your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. All right. Thank you. Master has no memory and no guts. And now he has no money either. <laughs> Talk about a triple threat. Mm. Be quiet. Impressive, aren't I? So what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the Nailman killings, correct? Yes. The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the nail man and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the nail man. I don't think so. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Believe? <laughs> what a foolish lie, crazy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. Yikes. All people lie. All people change their minds. She's... As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. She's got a good point. Yep. A detective must doubt everything. Still, I will believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. Out of the question. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. Mm -hmm. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. You think it's Kokichi? <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That's the WDOs. Oh, it's a lie. You were lying. It's a lie. Kokichi was such a little shit. You're free to think of me as you wish. I guess you're However, like Kokichi. <laughs> the truth must be found with Red's eyes. just Kokichi. Otherwise, there is no point in continuing as a detective. Do you understand? Yes. Yikes. Continuing as a detective. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. Aww. What's Alara trying to make me see? I'm no good at this. Hmm. A naive guy like yourself might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. <laughs> Maybe someone totally unmotivated would be better. Like that guy sleeping under the piano. Vivian? <gasps> I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. Anyway, Master, I've been wondering... Is this Holara person a man or a woman? What? Oh... Uh... Now that you mention it, I have no idea. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but... <laughs> if you're ready, we'll start the investigation. I won't allow time to be wasted. Oh, <laughs> Why did she say that? <laughs> that was so out of left field. I don't understand. You missed your chance to ask. But then again, I also don't really care. You finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Both. <laughs> Both is good. The past, <laughs> cases. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well? Oh. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit or not. That's a good point, yeah. Oh, but... We don't know where the other crimes took place. Should we ask around town? I already know. There are at least three additional crime scenes. Uh, are they clean? 
A secret club in Kamasaki District. A mansion in a high-end residential district. And an art gallery in Gima District. Oh, yeah, we were talking to another lady. That mentioned... Or was it? It was one of the people we were asking for more information. Somebody mentioned art gallery or museum. Huh? When did you find that out? You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. Hmm. That's amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. Yeah. But before we head to past crime scenes, the Nailman urban legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main stage. The main stage? The forest? Oh, you mean the church? Church. Well, the forest behind the church. I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. Huh? We should ask someone to guide us there. You don't know where it is? I feel like that's something that should be very public, huh? Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. He told me to gather everyone. <laughs> yeah, he's probably sitting there like, um, <laughs> I'm all alone. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, Laura, let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting time. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. Yeah, the other three are probably back there, right? <gasps> are you following me? <gasps> <gasps> We're going together? You want to hold hands? I don't think she wants to. Actually, hold on. Hold on. The gumshoe gab? Let's peek at the microscopic world. Kane Ward's highest welcome. I'm going against it with the big guy. This won't fit in the mail. Those are our hints to find these? Iron coffin bed. What do these hints mean? I think I'm just gonna have to run around and look. I think that's my best bet. <laughs> Still hints. <laughs> Those mean nothing to me. And Shinigami's probably gonna tell me I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Public hand holding that'll be another 50 million yen. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> that would be the best goddamn hand all of my life. <laughs> Let me see if there's... I should look through those to see if I can get more info. You better hurry! Hurry! But there's so many, like, objectives here. Like that person right there. Right there. Hello. Um... Was she spirited away too? Oh, we're asking about the child. Well. Does being spirited away happen that often? I don't know about that, but I've seen lots of folks get hysterical because their kid up and vanished. They say it's a ghost that appears out of nowhere and kidnaps the kids. <gasps> Shinigami! <gasps> what do you have to say about that? Hmm? A ghost? Hmm. Don't lump me together with some ghost! It's not like I believe in ghosts in the first place. I bet Amaterasu's behind it. <gasps> Oh, it's Rasu. Yeah, they're probably using the kids for some kind of experiment, you know. I wouldn't be too surprised if Amaterasu really was behind it all. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Maybe. Is Amaterasu really doing something that terrible? Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Please let me know if you see the child. Oh, okay. We might as well look for clues while we have some uh, free wandering time. Come on. I don't actually! <laughs> Thank you for noticing! Excuse me. Can I help you? Uh, Have you seen this child around here? Never seen her. Uh, yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem like he knows anything. I should ask someone else. Okay, well there's a few other people to ask. Oh, wait, right there. You. You, you! Um Have you seen this child? 
This this little this gremlin. I don't know what they look like. Cause I didn't actually see the picture. Oh wait, you saw her? Oh shit! I don't remember it clearly, but I think a kid was wearing the same clothes. Thank you very much. Oh, oh. Be careful if you get caught, or you're probably not coming back. Okay. Alright. Ooh, where is that? Master! The underground passage! Let's go check it out right away, Master! Yeah. If we don't hurry, the kid might not be there anymore. Oh, we're like going now now. Hmm? Oh shit. Is this the place where the kid was seen? It feels like a ghost could pop out at any second. I'm spooked. For now. Anyway, let's take a look around. <gasps> Mischievous child. <laughs> huh? Is that the munchkin we're looking for? Yeah. Maybe. Let's go check. You all right? Master, be careful. Huh? huh? What is happening? So you're the one who kidnapped the kid. The worst. The worst. Master. I have a bad feeling about this guy, Master. Is he even human? Ugh, this city is the worst. It's all because of Amaterasu Corporation. If not for them... Huh? What are you saying? I feel sorry for all the children living in this city. This city cursed by Amaterasu. That's why I chose to save them. To save the children with my own hands. Huh? This guy really isn't human! It's the memory of a man who died miserably! I'm saying he's a ghost! <laughs> and an evil one at that! We gotta get out of here! I won't let you. Damn. Oh! I can't move! Master! Master! Let my master go, you creep! Choose the child or yourself. Only one of you will return. Huh? He wants me to choose which one of us to save? Forget about the kid! You're much more important, Master! <laughs> I... We can take him! Come on! Do you have a death wish?! No! I don't plan on dying, but I can't sacrifice a child! I leave the children in your care. We could have opened that the whole time. Who are you, mister? Are we underground? Uh... Your mom and dad asked me to come look for you. Let's head back to them together, okay? Okay. <laughs> hmm. He's probably gonna come back later. Probably not. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, art gallery... Current attendance is not stellar. Hmm. Hmm. The police... Dragon Palace, popular meat bun shop in Gima District! <gasps> I want a meat bun! Thank you so much! How can I ever repay you? No. I'm just glad your child is safe. Well, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Say thank you! <laughs> Thanks, mister! See you later! <laughs> we did good. Say! I'm glad that you and the kid are safe, but what was that ghost? I'm sure. I bet he used to really adore children. I don't think he ever planned to harm them. Then why all the kidnapping? That's why. He probably meant it when he said he wanted to save them. Maybe he lost his own child to this city. That's why he was trying to take them away from here. That's what I think anyway. We did the request! A hundred detective points! 
thanks for coming along that journey with me. She was probably like, are we done yet? <laughs> Now we can go back to the submarine. The detective points are for upgrading our skills in the skill tree, which I guess we, we could do because we already did one, one uh, labyrinth adventure. <laughs> so we can see what our, our skills are. Bus system. Oh, it costs money. Oh, we got an update on the request. Oh, just that this one's good. Abilities. Skills. Increase stamina. Yes. Let me see what else we got. Increase stamina. In reasoning deathmatch sequences, shorten the assist ability's recovery time. I don't know if I need the assist. Remove one solution cue. Shinigami will barf up. Yeah, let's do that one. During Shinigami puzzle sequences, slow down the rotation speed of Shinigami's barrel. Solution key section sequences. Remove one cor incorrect solution key. Cannot be one or less. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of abilities to upgrade. This is the assist ability. Reduce number of colored words in the mystery phantom statements, making it easier to identify where to repel. Remove one incorrect solution key. Slow down the speed. Increase stamina. Remove two solution keys. Okay. I mean, it seems like we're getting a lot of these upgrades pretty fast. So why don't we just upgrade like everything right now? All of the like a level one upgrades. Oh, this one costs. Oh no, this one still costs one. Hmm. Okay. I think we should probably save some of these. Just in case. I shouldn't have trouble, but you know. Just in case that were to happen, I would know which ones to uh to upgrade. Looks like there's another- is that another request? There's a little question mark. You! Hmm? What do you do? What's the matter? Help me, uh, help me. What do you need? For now. Your purse? Someone stole your purse? Aww. Find the person who took your purse! Hey. Let's help you. That seems simpler yes. than finding a child. <laughs> uh, uh. What did the purse snatcher look like? Well, he was wearing a navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants, and he had a white mask. Thank you very much. Okay. Snatch the snatcher. Uh. I mean, we're here. We might as well. Okay. I want to look at this. What's status? I have no strength. <laughs> no skills active? Oh, I have to activate them. Oh, I can only activate one at a time. Set skill. Can I only set one? Oh, one out of nine! Oh, I can set nine! Oh, damn! Oh, 
Oh, wait. We already had that one. Nice! Now we are more skilled. Let's go down this little alley. And... Who do we want to talk to? You! Hmm? Is this the purse snatcher? Can you equip the first one too? Oh, do you think it stacks? I can try that. Probably not. He had white pants. No. He had white pants, a blue jacket, navy blue jacket. Hold on. Navy blue jacket, glasses, white pants, and a white mask. Okay. Let's go up the stairs to see who this person is. Glasses. No, that's not him. Uh, there's somebody else up here, though. I'm getting better at reading the map. <laughs> White pants, navy blue jacket, glasses, white mask. You. Hmm? That's definitely this person. You're the culprit. You must be the purse snatcher. Damn. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Why? Why'd you steal someone's purse? Had no choice, got no money for food, no money for meat buns! No, not the meat buns! <laughs> Had to steal a purse and sell it! You sold a purse! Hmm? Peacekeeper's fault. You're damn right, they extort us every chance they get and call it a security tax. Right. You know what, that gold tooth swank only cares about money. Damn it, I won't let them catch me. Those peacekeepers will never get a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> away. You'll never get me! <laughs> Say, you're not gonna chase him? Sh sure. We got the bag back, didn't we? Oh, what? For now. <laughs> Was that the wiggler guy? <laughs> Wiggle for good luck! <laughs> I guess that's it. Oh, is that my bag? You really got it back for me. Uh, yes, but I'm afraid the culprit got away. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm just so happy to have my bag back. I really appreciate it. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> Say. Hey, you look pretty gloomy for someone who just pulled off a successful job. What's up? Is it because you're upset you let the criminal get away? Uh, if I'd caught him, I'd just have to hand him over to the peacekeepers. There's no telling what would happen to him then. On. He'd get what he deserves! A detective letting the criminal go free is disgraceful! <laughs> yeah, but I just can't do it. Ugh, master, you're such a coward! <laughs> he was just trying to get by. Nice! Look at us go! Level up! 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 Okay. Let's go back! <laughs> We're definitely late for the meeting now. <laughs> Sorry, I took a couple detours. Uh, <laughs> I needed to get all my detective points. We need, we need that, that sweet DP. Yeah. You know how it is. Oh wait, I don't think this is the right way. <gasps> but maybe I can find more blue shinies here. <gasps> shinies, shinies. Shiny, shiny, shinies. I can't go that way. Huh? Oh, we can only cross. With the crosswalk. No jaywalking here. We're gonna get bonked by the police if we do. <laughs> Meanwhile at the base, 
It's been 84 years! <laughs> Oh? Ladder. Why are we Jesus. looking at this? Is this a step ladder or a regular ladder? Come uh, on. What? <laughs> Why do we look at that? Was that important? Should we go in here? Can we go in here? Don't call it DP. The game called it DP. It's a ladder, they're always up to something. <laughs> True! <gasps> oh, Shinigami's glow! I thought that was a blue thing. <gasps> you bamboozled. Okay, um. Oh, <gasps> there's one right there! Oh, it's another Yako one! Wait, what? What was the clue for that? Co coffin bed? What? Coffin bed? That's a coffin bed? Okay, these clues are not there to help me. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm glad we came back here though. Huh? Well, big wooden box. Thank you for the points. All right, we might as well go back. Can we? We can fast travel, though, right? Uh, map. Oh, we want the map. Map. No bus. <sighs> okay, well, let's go back here. And then we'll go from here to the submarine. Mm hmm. That's the thing for luggage. Yeah. Coffin? Great detective never trusts in game hints. <laughs> they don't make any sense. They're so obscure. So we want to go which way? Which way do we come from? Where do we go? Uh. Anybody gonna tell me where is a pink arrow? Submarine? Hello? Submarine? Is this the way I just went? Oh, that's kind of station square. Is that my Luigi impression? No. Mario! <laughs> There's my Luigi. This way! Is this correct? No, I can't even go that way. This way! <laughs> Peach's favorite color is pink, and Daisy's is purple. This way. This way. This is the way. Surely, this is the correct way. Purple. Not this way. Which way? <laughs> Oh. I see. <laughs> this way. We're underground. <gasps> oh, Moriako! We should probably play all those before he might potentially die. Hmm. Master, you gotta hurry! Calm down. 
Use your inside voice, please. That's the store we looked at earlier. What was the clue for that one? I don't even know anymore. Oh! Punk graffiti. Hmm. These doodles. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Not into the stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, we go this way, but... Before we do that... Wait. Oh, it's, it's locked because we didn't watch volume 2 yet. Let's, let's hang out with him again! Detective Daddy! Desuhiko's bangs? He's particularly about his bangs look. It takes about an hour a day to style. It looks like he just rolled out of bed! <laughs> hey, um, oh, what's up? I'm back! All of his scenes being found in chapter one sure is sus. I mean, he's the one that wears loafers, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I mean... <laughs> huh? What happened? Oh, Yuma, I'm done for. Oh, this isn't, this isn't looking good. Seriously, what happened? Well, Desuhiko and Halara got into a fight while gambling. Oh no! You know how stubborn those two are. I tried to calm them down, but things got out of hand. I didn't know what to do. But then, Fubuki showed up. <laughs> and she started shouting for them to quit fighting. She jumped right in. And things just descended into chaos. Aww. I think I get the picture. In the end, those two made up just so they wouldn't have to deal with the situation. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, the correct plan, the correct outcome, solution. They all never listen to a thing I say. <laughs> I think you're not their dad. I'm not sure I could leave these monsters. Maybe I'm not cut out to be boss here. Aww. That's not true. You're doing great, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> Me? Great? What have I done that's great? You solve Wh mysteries. What? You find lost pets. Well... Let's see. Anyway, you're great. <laughs> Let's see. It's all right. I already know. Aw, looks like he totally lost confidence. No, I was, I was, I was like, let's see. He he saves pets and helps this, people. This is bad. I gotta find something the chief is good at. Anyway, you're great. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I don't have the right words, but I think you're great in your own way, Chief. Wow, way to let him down easy. <laughs> Sounds a bit forced. Still, thanks. All I needed was a good laugh to feel better about everything. Aww. Well then, I'll continue being the boss for now. I can tell you a dumb joke if that'll help. Well, looks like he finally cheered up. That's good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I want to ask you. What's up? It's about my memories. At this rate, I worry I won't remember anything. So I was hoping we could make, like, a mission plan, Aww. or at least a list of things I could try to jog my memory. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but handling stuff like that is way out of my league. Huh? Aren't you a detective? Never mind that. Feeling down got me hungry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey. Did you buy a meat bun for me? <gasps> I hope you didn't forget the mustard. I've been saying that we should get meat buns! I mean, I don't have any money. <laughs> I know he's not a bad person, but still... What if he is? Maybe he really isn't fit to be in charge. Him and his loafers. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Even closer? I swear he's got loafers, you guys. He's got loafers! If evil, why hot? True. <laughs> Hate it. Most communications to people outside Connie Ward are tapped and monitored by Amaterasu. That is so sketchy! So sketchy. He smokes at least once every hour. That is crazy. 
The crosswalks, Forte, Secret Club, an illegal members only casino is located. Is that where one of the bodies, one of the murder scenes are? Is? Oh, the underground world. Oh, that one meant it was in the sewers. Secret of the toys? Is there a toy store somewhere? What kind of toys are we talking about? Let's view episode memory three, volume three. Let's get even closer. Hopefully loafers are just common. In a city where it's been raining every day for three years. Loafers are common to be worn outside. <laughs> to murder somebody. <laughs> hey, Yuma. Can I ask you for a favor? Depends. Huh? What is it? Um, how do I put this? Uh... What's wrong? Why the hesitancy? I need an alibi. <laughs> right. We're pals after all. Yeah, uh, can you help me hide a body? <laughs> then I'll say it. Well, I, uh, will you? Oh no! Some money? I don't have any. No. blood from a stone <laughs> I heard kids these days have lots in savings why do you even need any money you should have more than I do <laughs> well I've been drinking more recently so oh. my living expenses have been stretched thin you know cigarettes are a big expense too consider quitting it's not easy but my grandma quit smoking once because she would she would just have a lollipop instead of a cigarette. So that way she would have, you know, like something else instead of a cigarette. And then that worked for her. So maybe, maybe that'll help you. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. Isn't that your own fault then? Sheesh. My employees are so heartless. No. <laughs> I wish some super profitable job would fall into my lap. Poor guy. Aww. I mean, do you blame me? Like, I don't have anything. I don't have anything to give. If only I had a master detective's abilities, I could easily make some cash. Aww. Yeah, I feel the same way. A master detective could make a ton of money if they use their powers for profit. Right? I wonder why these guys just work as detectives. I That's don't a good point. It one bit. Speaking of, you've met a bunch of master detectives, haven't you, Chief? Hmm? Yeah, I sure have. Have you seen any particularly amazing abilities? Oh, good question. I'm curious about what other kinds of master detectives are out there. Hmm, amazing abilities, huh? But to me, they were all amazing, since I don't have any myself. Aww. But among them all, the one that really freaked me out was the ability to hear the culprit's inner voice. Like their thoughts? Huh? Wouldn't that make them unstoppable as a detective? Yeah. It's considered the all-time ace of the WDO sleeve. Seeing it with my own eyes sure made me feel depressed. <gasps> oh no! Can I really call myself a detective when there's a monster like that doing this job? Of course you can. You're right. It makes me feel unsure myself. In fact, it brings me down whenever I compare myself to everyone here. Mm -hmm. You're never going to realize your own growth if you focus too much on comparing yourself to other people. There's no point in developing an inferiority complex just because you don't have any abilities. People just gotta play with the cards they're dealt. Even if you're dealt a terrible hand, sometimes, just sometimes, <laughs> you can manifest the power of the Joker card. Ah. But having no forte is like not even being dealt a hand. Th that's not true. Yeah. There's stuff you can do because you don't have one. Is that really true? Yeah, like... 
bragging that you don't have one. <laughs> yeah, trust my many years of experience. I'm sure of it. <laughs> well, do you have an example? Uh. <laughs> I think it's better you figure it out for yourself. Yeah? <laughs> what do you think? Sure. Think about it. What can you do without any abilities? Cry! I know how regular people feel. Slow and steady investigation. That one sounds like it'll make us feel better. Slow and steady investigation? I can take my time doing the legwork. Mm -hmm. mm, that is something you can do without abilities, but it's also something you could do if you had them. Oh, yeah. You're right. Damn. Uh, then... Is there anything I can do because I don't have abilities? I know how regular people feel. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was a stupid option. I didn't want to say that one. Although, if you had the ability to read minds, you could understand people's feelings and use it for information. Hmm. But you'd never be able to join them among the have-nots. <laughs> oh my god. The copium is so real. <laughs> to be the same as the vast majority of people is a powerful tool for a detective. That's why there's no need to feel down, even if you don't have any special powers. You were just feeling down. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Chief, sometimes... You say some really profound things. <laughs> Sometimes? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Aw, he's so cute! <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Even closer! I hope Yako is a good guy. Actually. Man, am I going to be heartbroken? Don't do this to me, please. The drone umbrella. <laughs> Those are the umbrella drones. Hmm. Money, clock tower. Some of these change sometimes are the same. All right. Let's go, go, go. Wait a minute. Just, just, you know, just, just making my rounds, just making sure. Owner of the mansion. Made a sizable amount of money through real estate dealings. Man around the age of 30. We'll find that out later. It's the peacekeepers. <gasps> Stay hidden. No, why is he with them? Oh, right. Chief. And that peacekeeper from the clock tower. See? See, I told you he had loafers! I'm very observant and I like character designs! Seth Burroughs. A high-ranking peacekeeper. He's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. Why does he have flowers? <laughs> well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. <laughs> I don't care. Damn. Huh? What, what did you say? <laughs> I don't care. More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the Nail Man case, didn't you? We have witnesses. Eh? Nail Man? Now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. Oh, wait, no. I don't know anything. Oh, no. <sighs> <laughs> this flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's many flowers. Yes. Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. Aww. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours. That's it? 
when something beautiful withers, it fills me with inexplicable sorrow. I feel so sad that... <laughs> it makes me want to sink a ship. Uh, you don't mean like actually, right? I... I don't follow. The nail man affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. Huh? Yo, hold on. I, I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. <laughs> what? I'll not wait a second longer. If you fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Withering? Fine, I get it, but can't you give me more time? There he goes. He's gone. Hey, Yako! Um, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Chief Yako! Are you all right? Oh, Yuma and Halara too. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. I know. We were watching from over there. Huh? <laughs> you were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. <laughs> Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? Uh, uh, uh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was. Probably us. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why? What's going on? Look, we were just there, and then we... We might have knocked a couple guys out. Actually, no, she knocked a couple guys out. I saved the kid. <laughs> it's exactly as the Peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the Nailman case. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Yeah! I'm real busy now, <laughs> thanks to you two! You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? Hey, um... What were you doing... Last night, slash, early, early this morning? At approximately... Actually, no, it could've been... What were you doing last night? <laughs> Look, we've got three hours before I'm taken away. If that happens... The last detective agency in town is done for. Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. You sure about that? <laughs> Where were you at 8 a.m.? Were you in your loafers? <laughs> well, technically the body was found at 8 a.m. So, or no, 7 a.m. Right? Yeah, 7 a.m. So he could have, well, the murder could have happened sooner, you know? Though, I wouldn't want to do that either, if I'm being honest. Never mind, forget what I just said. Man, he does not know when to stop. What should we do, Halara? There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief, not us. It's the mailman. Yeah, he tell him. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. Mm. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. You better! <laughs> Spending a lot of money! Imagine when we solve the case of the nail- The case of the nail man? Yuma just says nailed it?! <laughs> With my logic, anything is possible. <sighs> I don't really get it, but... It seems best to leave it to you two. Hmm. Why? Why is that? Hmm? You said you wanted to go to the church? Let me mark it on the map. Thank you! It's for the best that I don't tag along. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. Why, we can compare your footprints in the mud with the footprints at the crime scene? I'll be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. Got it. We're off. Three hours. You've got three hours to solve the case. Wait. 
He's wearing a different jacket. The pattern on this jacket is different. Seriously, I'm counting on you. Or no, maybe that was a shirt I was thinking of. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's still so much I need to do. That is definitely a different jacket. What what do you need to do? Nun stocking? All of the nuns red stocking? Like thigh eyes? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Who are the nuns? Let's go to church! <laughs> you can get to the church from Kamasaki District. Time is short. Okay. Uh, Let's hurry! <laughs> we're going! We're going, you guys! We're going! <laughs> this way. Thighs rage. <laughs> Feeling real religious right now. <laughs> we don't know yet. We 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 have not confirmed anything yet. Ooh, it's spooky. So the Nailman urban legend originated at this church. Well, the forest behind the church. There aren't any ghosts here, are there? It's safe, right? I love irony. Hmm. <laughs> What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Well, they're important to some people. Huh? Why is that? Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. <laughs> oh my god! Just look at the tragedies this city has seen. There is no god to save you. <gasps> the lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. <laughs> For now, let's talk to the people around the church. She's so brutal. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. Mm hmm. Is it okay to lie like that? Whether it's okay or not is secondary. <laughs> Our priority is to solve the case. I'm conflicted. I both like and dislike your methods. <laughs> In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Now, let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain clouds. Okay. <gasps> That's the nut! What? The nun's a cat girl? Um, what is it you wanted to speak about? Can we get a closer shot of that nun? <laughs> I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? Cat girl nun! <laughs> no way! Hasn't the culprit already been arrested? The servant? Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. Worshipper. <sighs> Who are these people? Uh, um. How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? <laughs> Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh, yeah. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. Play your card. Do I really have to do this? <laughs> I guess Halara seems intent on being the assistant. I guess so, yeah. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did this, Master. I would have to agree. But I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. <laughs> time for an investigation! Hey! <laughs> hey, girl! <laughs> um, you are... Oh, are you okay? Hold on, let me see your shoes. What are you, 
mind? I'm a nun, obviously. <laughs> I've met nuns before. <laughs> You're an awfully sassy nun. You've got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? <laughs> I'll kill your ass in the name of God. Sorry. <laughs> She's the type my master has trouble with. Uh-oh. Cute, assertive woman. <laughs> I'll have you know. My dad is a higher up at Amaterasu Corporation. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why you're the way you are. I don't care if you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. I'll keep it quick. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well... I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. You know what? After seeing her, after seeing she's got a broken arm, after hearing that her dad works for the peacekeepers, it would make sense if she's the culprit, fell out of the window, broke her arm. If she's a nun, it would make sense for her to have like different shoes, like loafers. Um, and the peacekeepers would cover it up because daddy, daddy's a higher up at the peacekeepers. Um, also, this could be a um, genocide or seal um, moment where they think it's like a male killer and it turns out to be a, a lady. Because they, they called, or I guess the English translation was the genocide Jack and they thought it was a guy doing the, like the scissor murders. So if it's like, oh, nail man is actually the nail woman, you know, that does sound easy. <laughs> Whenever I've but, gone into the forest afterward, you know? I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. It's creepy as hell, really. <laughs> and you don't do anything about it? Isn't it your property? In other words, it's totally metal. Wait, she's got fangs! <laughs> she's got little fangies! I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Did you get hurt? Hey, don't stare. It's nothing. It's kind of sus. I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. <laughs> what instrument? <laughs> instrument? I'm working on this new thing I call Death Metal Choir. I, I was messing around on the bass and, well, you know. Can you sing for me? <laughs> is that your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You want to die or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's Maki. Oh, uh, it, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. I see. <laughs> She's got boots on. Hmm. You're lucky. 180 on my view of her? Like, you wanna see if she's got a tail? Oh my god, can you imagine? <gasps> no, unless she's hiding it. <gasps> Wait, look at the back of her, of her like head, her headdress. That's spooky. That's super cool. Um. Hmm. Wait, no. No, huh? I don't want to. S s I don't want to talk to you again. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Hmm. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. That is my mission. As the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. Do you know about the nail man? Of course. I have no idea how that rumor spread around. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation, which created the fantasy of the nail man. What's well, a reality now? Salvation? 
people of this city must be crazy if they look to the nail man for salvation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of cool. I know how they feel. <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you and me, master. Where did that come from? <laughs> you taking me to the labyrinth again? Isn't it basically already like that? <laughs> Please! <laughs> God damn it, I get so lucky! And you are... I... I do the odd jobs, like cleaning around the church. I also care for the forest. Hmm, that's kind of suspicious. Do you know anything about the mailman? I... I, I often patrol the woods. But I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. So you do clean them up. Hmm. I've n never seen the nail man himself, but I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Can you, like, trespass them? Have you ever talked to them? I have, but they typically run away. Some get surprised and leave their nails and doll behind. Hmm. Hmm. I chase after them to give them back their dolls, but I'm never fast enough. Aww. They always get away. That makes sense with a body like that. <laughs> I understand. Thank, Thank God much. nobody can hear you talking. <laughs> Holy shit. Excuse Look me, at your drip. You are. Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. Um. <laughs> actually, <laughs> you're about to be real humbled. <laughs> huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the Nail Man and you don't know who I am? Um, I'm the leader of the Nail Man fan club. What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I was the first on the scene. <laughs> Why are you happy about that? Right, he was on the report. I'm <laughs> I am the nail man. <laughs> I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? Hmm. Can I look at your shoes? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on nail man activity for a while now. You know, the first person to find the body, report the crime, is usually the first... suspect? So <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at your shoes. So, you know a lot about the nail man. That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in nail man research. Hmm. So you could say you know everything about the nail man? In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. <gasps> Okay, maybe you're not the nail man. <laughs> Cause I think that too. You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? The real nail man, obviously. The peacekeepers are making a big mistake. Listen, the nail man exists. The nail man is summoned through a ritual and commits murder based on a sacrificial doll. That's impossible. Okay, he's a little wacky, but I think, I think these people might be on our side. Yeah, I get it. You probably want proof. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nailed doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. So you know who the next cult, the, the, the next victim is? And, and you, you're not gonna like, protect them? <laughs> Give him a warning. In town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run-in with the nail man. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. Four times? I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. Right. I was so close at the clock tower, too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag and figured out she was heading to the clock tower. <laughs> he really is the biggest fan. <laughs> I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Hmm. Damn it. If only I had acted sooner. I was so close to meeting the nail man. All right. Yeah, you're kind of weird. <laughs> Guess he just wants to meet the nail man and doesn't care about preventing the murders. So he's an occult enthusiast? Seems like a huge weirdo. I've talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. I mean, we can do this together, you know. That's not like a one and done kind of deal. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? Hmm. Past murders. Seems like a good good question. Um, there have been several mailman cases in the past, right? Does anyone know anything about past cases? I still have some edamame, by the way, so I'm just gonna be smacking a little bit. You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah. You can ask me anything about the nail man, including all past cases, obviously. All of them? I was the first to find the body every time. Not sure if that's the thing you want to brag about. Huh? Every time? There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then, I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. What, you just know everybody in this big-ass city? Oh, well, I guess it's not that big, huh? It's pretty big, but... Hmm. But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Huh. It's almost like... After you're killed... You're dead. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Being the first on scene each time sounds super suspicious. You think I'm suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. What? All of the crime scenes had no way in or out. So I'd open them with someone nearby, or by asking the peacekeepers. Huh. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. So the club? The art gallery and... Where was the last one? The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. Mansion, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. Oh! At the time, the nail man was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But... I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him, and then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. Why? Because they were nailed to the floor. <laughs> and that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah. All of the nail man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the nail man? You don't want to be mad interested. I totally get it. <laughs> don't empathize with him. The secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second... Somebody was salty that they weren't invited into the secret club. It was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma District. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building's study. 
The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. So is the next victim going to be the owner of the art gallery? Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the nail man. By then, I knew the legendary nail man had descended upon Kanai Ward. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma district. Okay, a little bit different. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single nail man case. At least, for now. <laughs> Don't make it like that. I'm sure the nail man will continue on. He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Uh huh. Hmm. This information was obtained from the church worshiper who knew about the past nail man murders. About the dolls. That reminds me. Is there any information about the dolls used in the nail man ceremonies? Yeah. Where do they, Where do they come from? Where do they go? I know a few have been found at the crime scenes too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Huh. Doll shop? Well, I'm not from here. <gasps> Toy store! Toy store! That was one of the clues! For the, um, the, one of the, um, the, the... Uh, Yakko's event. Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, foreigner or something? I don't like how we can find almost all, if not all, of his... <laughs> it's gonna be him! Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. They were mostly souvenirs for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I see. So they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Hmm. Has anything strange happened? Any murders, maybe? Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a vague question. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Now that you mention it, what is it? Uh, please, any small detail will help. S uh, something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. What do you mean by strange? What do you mean by incinerator? <laughs> well, like, I thought it was a rope, but all I can say is it, it looked strange. Oh, interesting. Is the incinerator located inside the church? Um, can <laughs> it was Leon. <laughs> what it, looks like? it does look like some sort of bizarre rope. It's like a centipede with legs missing from one side. It looks delicious. What? I was worried that it wasn't supposed to be burned, so I tried to take it out. But I was too late. It was completely incinerated. It's got yellow. Hmm. So I was right about the rope being wrapped around the uh, nails in the dolls by the window. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it, but everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. Well, that's not looking so good for you guys. So, I don't even work here in the first no, place. No one here recognized it. Only clergy can access the incinerator, but no one claims to have thrown Unless away. the nail man is a baseball star! <laughs> and can throw a baseball to turn on the incinerator from uh, across the fence. Hmm. I don't know if this has anything to do with the case, but something's fishy. That was... That was chapter one of the first Danganronpa game, just in case uh, any of you were confused about that reference. Sorry for the spoiler. 
The burnt remains of a strangely shaped rope found on the church incinerator. About the suspect. A watchmaker was arrested earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the mailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colin? Yeah, that guy. I've asked him to fix the church clock several times to think that he's the mailman. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. Huh? What do you mean? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. The nail man was born out of our situation. You mean the nail man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the nailed dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. In a way. I mean, I get what you're saying. That's how I see it. What do you think? Also, Mr. Fan Club member doesn't have loafers. That's true. The nail man could be seen as a savior to some people. After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. Mm-hmm. So if people weren't giving him people to kill, then he would not have a purpose. I mean, the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? <gasps> you blaming! You victim blaming! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm sus on the nun's arm, too. I think I've asked about everything I wanted to find out. Looks like time is almost up. Let's get going. Has it been three hours? Was that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Thank you for your cooperation. Why? <laughs> You should study their face as well. They may end up being accused of the murders. All of them? Huh? Not the cat nun! You need to remember every face so you can spot them even if they flee through a crowd. <laughs> She's so cute! W wait! Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. Well, what about the forest? Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... The club. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district, right? Correct. Let's hurry. I won't allow time to be wasted. Mm-hmm. Um, don't mind me. I'm just gonna look around really quick. I'm sure. Oh yeah, the fox is the church symbol. A gargoyle <laughs> instead? <laughs> you know, just in case we find any... <gasps> You! <laughs> Vivia! Oh my god, I'm gonna get a new duck! <laughs> Yay! My boy! I'm ready! I'm so ready! <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to get closer. Oh, he's got bad posture. We haven't actually seen him standing before. <laughs> we finished a bunch of chores. Maybe I should go make some coffee. <laughs> that was a sneeze? <laughs> I thought he was like laughing. <laughs> Ew, he didn't even cover his mouth. 
sorry. I had some soot in my nose. Oh, maybe don't lay in the fireplace next time. Vivia, you were in there? We saw him in there. Yeah, I was here the whole time. You could have at least said you were there. You scared me. <laughs> yeah. If you don't mind, I'll start doing that next time. I don't mind, so please do. I love him. <laughs> Yuma, you're too kind. You never mind talking to me. I love talking to you! I could talk to you all day! You know, I wonder why he always crawls into cramped spaces like that. You find it calming in there, right? But wouldn't you be better off on a couch or bed? If comfort level must be quantified in terms of the physical strain on your body, then yes. But this reminds me of something. Uh, reminds you of what? Well, what do you think? Uh-oh. What Vivia remembers when he's inside the fireplace. Good memories. Is it a good memory? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Yay! I chose the right answer! The good answer! When I was young, my parents would always discipline me by locking me in the storage room. Uh-huh. When I'm in here, I can relive those memories. <laughs> that was a good memory? <laughs> Huh? They don't sound like nice memories if you were locked in there. That seems pretty traumatic to me. No, those are good memories for me. <laughs> you do you, babe. <laughs> I have many brothers. We all yearned for our parents' love. Aww. So, no matter what shape or form it took, I was happy when my parents paid attention to me. Oh, you're the kind of kid who would cause mischief to seek attention. I... I see. Oh. I know. How about you join me, Yuma? Yes! Oh, I, that fireplace looks pretty cramped, but... Uh, I, I'd love to join you, you know. If, if, if you'll have me. Once you get used to the back pain, it's actually... Not so bad in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm used to the back pain because big boobies. So, yeah, well, I, I think I'll get used to it pretty quick. N no, I think I'll pass. Yuma! <laughs> <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have grown closer. <laughs> Yuma, please. That was my chance. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's my favorite character. <laughs> Aside from Shinigami. My, my favorite male character. There we go. Favorite male character in the game. Yeah, hands down. <laughs> He's so mysterious. And pretty. Don't, don't down bad me. Put your spray bottles away. <gasps> that wasn't the first one. Can't live without books. Bookstore? Maybe it was in the hotel? <gasps> we gotta go back and check. We missed one. I need my... Is this just the same thing? I'm sure. Come on. Yeah. Same thing. I don't think we can go back here. No. Nope, nope. Alrighty, well... Oh, we can't travel by bus. Okay. I will leave. Ooh, this is pretty. <gasps> tree! Tree, tree, tree. Magnificent tree. This tree is big and majestic and all, but there's something unsettling about it. That's true. I think it's because of how twisted and distorted it is. It's just a tree. It's just a tree! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. I think 
that tree looks perfectly fine. I'm gonna hurt its feelings. Secret Club. One can enjoy slots, roulettes, and card games, but many games have obscene rates and cheating is rampant. Ooh! Well, we've got somebody who knows how to gamble. Maybe that's how we get in. Hmm. Priest's eyes? Wait. We saw his eyes a little bit, though. Um, Halara? I've been thinking. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. So, you have a plan then? What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. Yeah. What more could you possibly ask for? <laughs> now, let's be swift. Okay. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence. No, no kidding, right? Uh, okay. Halara? I want to go back to the hotel. We just have like an itty bitty problem. I don't remember where the hotel is. Oh, look, the hotel! <laughs> Yay! I'm so good! <laughs> Still here. Okay, um so books was the clue. Are there any books in here? There's a bowl. There's a house plant. This is <laughs> if you look closely at this flower, you can tell it's synthetic. Oh <laughs> That would make sense if you can't grow any. Okay, I don't think. Do you have any books back there? if I need to go back to the bookstore. And I figured I'd check here because this is the first place where we had the book mission. So I figured we should do a double check. I'm glad I double checked. Now where was... Uh, the book store guy. It was up some stairs. I think it was over here. Yeah. I think it was somewhere over here. Not that guy. Hmm. other place oh the blue door yeah the blue door hello do you have any blue orbs books <gasps> there it is <laughs> Yay! <sighs> episode two I was kind of tucked away they were hiding that one on me. You can't hide him from me. I mean... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? Uh, I'm starting to get used to being alone with Vivia. <laughs> Knowing who he is, this silence isn't really so awkward anymore. We don't have to force a conversation to break the silence, which makes it easier to be around him than the others. I love that. <laughs> Literally my favorite kind of person. <sighs> I wanted 
guy someday. No! You, that's the second time you said that to me! Huh? That's awfully sudden. Oh. Did I think out loud again? Livia! You sure did. Uh, sorry about that. Guess I surprised you. I'll be careful not to think out loud next time. Are you okay? You're free to say what you want, but it sounds really concerning. And I've been wondering, what do you mean by someday? Hmm? What do you want to know? Everything. I mean, well, wait. <laughs> all people die eventually. I suppose I'm wondering if you want to die sooner. Saying someday makes it sound like you can't die. <laughs> wait. Wait, is that what it is? You can't die? That explained why you'd say something so strange. Huh? He's undead? <laughs> That's a wonderful deduction. <laughs> I guess I'm wrong, though. We no, made him laugh. I don't know about that. What do you mean? Being unable to die sounds like it's straight out of a story. So romantic. <laughs> Yuma, what would you do if you gained everlasting life? I don't know. <laughs> I never really thought about that. What would I do if I lived forever? See the world a hundred years from now. Talk to people from all over all over the world. I guess. Yeah, you might as well. You got plenty of time. I'd like to talk to people from all over the world. There's a limit to how many people you can meet in a lifetime. But it'd be a different story if you lived forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Although, after a certain number, you begin to notice patterns. So, it'd eventually grow boring. I mean, maybe, but everybody's different. Anything else? Um... Hmm, what else? Uh, uh, if I had everlasting life, what would I want to do? Uh, spend it with you? Uh, uh, oh, was I thinking out loud? Um, <laughs> well, I guess we have a lot in common. Um... Uh, I can't think of anything in particular. That was quick. <laughs> huh? Quick? There is no end to human greed. Some people think that. But it's not true whatsoever. Everything comes to an end. Just like how you couldn't think of anything else you'd want. I think I just meant I didn't have any good ideas right now. Hmm. Someday. Greed will end. Just like you would die before your greed could be satiated. Humanity, too, has a lifespan. He's so deep. <laughs> uh -huh. If you were to live forever, you'd see how tough life can be. Yeah. It may be fun at the beginning, but eventually, I'm certain you wouldn't desire anything else. If you lived forever, it'd be like Danganronpa. You'd get attached, and then they would die. <laughs> and once you were bored of everything, you'd reach the same conclusion all others would. That you hope to die someday. So... Are you immortal? Uh... The moments you lose all desire, your final desire for death would be born. Are you saying you lost all desire? Um, hello. I'd like to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Does it? Uh, but wait. Vivia, by that logic, doesn't your desire to die mean you're immortal? Hmm. You're free to think what you want. Oh, I mean... I'd, I'd love to talk more. That's not an answer. <laughs> it's enough for today. I need to go back to my world of books. You're so valid. Uh, did he just give me the runaround? Or is he always like this? I can't tell. I think he likes me. I wonder if I'll understand him better someday. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have grown even closer. Yay! I love him! We need another date? 
I don't know if I'd consider these dates. I mean, we're just alone in the room together. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything new. Oh, Yako's lifestyle. Night Owl sleeps until noon. <laughs> Same. Even when there's no work to be done. This nocturnal lifestyle was the norm until the master detectives arrived. That's why it's called the nocturnal detective. Detective. Yeah. Uh, Halara's coin? Attacks with a one Shen coin. Where it lands is carefully calculated for later retrieval? I thought she was kicking him. I mean, she used the coin. Damn. She's even more of a baddie than we ever thought. Let's go back down and go to our objective. Oh, right here. This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Hmm. <laughs> she just walks right in. It's open. Let's go inside. Uh, we're trying to lay low from the, the cops. Um, not sure if that's the best idea. <laughs> that was really cinematic, huh? Uh, popular parkour? Popular sport? Damn! This person was pinned to the wall. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. Yeah, they left the chalk outline and the blood stains and everything, huh? I mean, there's still power. <laughs> the victim's name is Suguma Iho, an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. Yeah, I guess if the owner is dead and there's nobody else to take over. But who's paying the electric bill? Hmm? Um... I guess they didn't bother to clean it, huh? This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. Mm. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. Maybe if they had a rope. <laughs> no windows. The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside. It's a locked room mystery! <laughs> locked room mystery! But there's <laughs> not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. Hmm. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! Yeah, what is it? My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. What? However, it can only be used at murder scenes. So that's why we're revisiting. Ah. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry if that's easier to understand. That's so cool. That's amazing. It's like the perfect forte for a detective. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. Mm. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, 
The witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That's so cool. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. Yeah, they can't make the powers too OP. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. But now it's done in the real world. Well. Although it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. So if you use your power, are we going to see a body? But Am I going to see it or are you just going to see it? Wait a minute. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Daddy's <laughs> life's so unfair. <laughs> now I'm angry. <laughs> Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? <laughs> you can nibble on someone else. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Hilaris Forte's post-cognition. It shows the crime scene as it was when it first discovered. <clears throat> so you're gonna use your power? Oh, hello. Post-cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait oh, for the report. Okay, only she can see it. I didn't know if it was well, like a physical I thing. Some good news for you. What is it this time? Master. Try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? What did you do to me? You know, when the other master detectives used their powers. Oh, yeah. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. I remember these people. They're not around anymore. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Poochie! <laughs> Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it. Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Is my power the Is it seriously that? I made that joke last chapter. Is our power the ability to detect other people using their powers? Because nobody else noticed anything. Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. That's way too OP. <laughs> On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Ain't no way. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's what I was asking. I was wondering. That's amazing. Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. You must kiss someone to share their ability. I don't mind if I do! <laughs> what? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. Oh. Can I do it anyway? Oh, did you blush? <laughs> did you really want to? <laughs> you still don't know if Halara is Oh my god! Girl. It doesn't matter! <laughs> oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. <laughs> I'm a smooch Halara! <laughs> that, that's the end of the question! the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. Oh, hold hands! Even more lewd. That's it. Okay, I can do that. Hey, um... It's not gonna cost me extra to hold your hand, right? Um, Halara... Hmm. I know I, I asked you before, but I was joking, but but this time I I really need to hold your hand. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. <laughs> you gotta you gotta explain it. Coalescence. Hold hands. Uh, yeah. You and me. Yeah, I, I know, I know, it's a big ask, but, um, do you want to? Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too, I think. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, I but think I you just, just want to hold my I hand. <laughs> anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. 
I think you're just a horny little boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No! 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 Wait, can I disable? Can I disable clipping? Wait! Wait! of getting friendly with you. <laughs> she doesn't even want to hold her hand. That's what I was saying. She hates us. She hates me. <laughs> hold on, I'm so sorry. I need a, I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink, drink. I need water. Hold on. Oh, um, it's not like that. Mm. It is, actually. I despise you. But... But... Why? <laughs> I'm just doing my best! Um, why? Just joke, the right? thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> here comes the sound alert. But uh... I didn't know you hated me so much. Aww. Let me be clear: I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity. I was gonna say I hate everybody. There's a song, and it goes, I hate people. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Uh, it's an actual song uh, made by a drag queen named Will Pill. <laughs> Will Pill. Yeah, uh, w w Willow is a drag queen. <laughs> and then it's a song about hating people. <laughs> Whale pill, yeah. I don't trust anyone except the dead. I hate people. <laughs> I had a feeling Halara must be a demon straight from hell. <laughs> no, that's me. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I'm in it for the I money. I always work sincerely for the family. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. <laughs> it's necessary for the investigation. Please, people shy. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ooh, now, mm, now she'll think about it. <sighs> Fine. <gasps> If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. <laughs> He's so small. Aww. You're not into size difference, huh? I mean. Oh. different than a moment ago. Honey, hold my hand while we're crossing the street. Yes, mom. <laughs> That's what this looks like. <laughs> Incredible. So this is post-cognition. Whoa. 
<gasps> There's the body! Can you really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. No, stop it. You like it. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? You're putting me through the hassle of holding your hand, so yes. <laughs> if you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected mm. when you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. Investigation! Um, uh, uh, I can't help but notice that we're not holding hands anymore. Um, <laughs> roulette table. That's there's a roulette table. It probably hasn't been used since the incident, as it's covered in dust. There don't appear to be any clues on top of the roulette table. Hmm. There's nothing underneath either. We should check someplace else. Right, let's do that. Oh wait, 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 wait. Post cognition. Not that one. This one. This one. <gasps> oh shit! Hmm? Was this move during the incident? As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem related to the case. Yeah. Let's check another place. There's a doll. That's... There's a doll nailed to the roulette table too. I see. There's also a doll nailed here, right in the middle of the roulette wheel. The doll itself seems to be the same as the others. There doesn't seem to be anything noteworthy. That is in and of itself sufficient knowledge. She's so happy. Let's check someplace else. Here we go! <laughs> Corpse's original location. Oh, in the vent! Oh, this is cool! Oh, I like this. We can't look at the corpse. Nope, just the vent for now. That's... There's a vent here. Four corners of the cover are screwed down, so I don't think it'll open. I doubt the cover can be open when it's like this. But... It's too early con to conclude there's no useful information. Compare it with what was seen in post-cognition. All right, I'll give it a try. Oh, <laughs> what a scary looking dude. I see a body. No. <laughs> the murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. This all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. Those are nails. And it's so, so and dolls. quiet. He's got the same neck marks. Are they all strangled? Corpse. It's a man's corpse. He's probably around 60 years old. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. Strangulation first! You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. Hmm. The vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. Yeah! Because I'm a detective. With the clock tower. <laughs> Such an awesome mentor. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. Mm -hmm. But why? Oh. 
There were signs of strangulation and vertical scratch marks on the victim's neck. Doll. I knew it. Sure enough, the secret club has dolls nailed to the wall too. Yeah. That must be the nail man's calling card. They're nailed into the wall seemingly at random, facing all directions. I can't find a pattern. There's nothing that can be connected to the culprit. Let's try checking someplace else. The vent! No screws? Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but <gasps> it hasn't been screwed on. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. <laughs> yeah, you little boy, you little short boy, you can't reach it. Oh, I see. But I think mm -hmm. this will be an important clue. The vent is about 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. Hmm. At the time of the murder, the cover was not screwed down. A slender adult might be able to get through it. That's... oh! Ooh! By the way, Yuma, did you notice the nail below the vent? It's bent. Below the vent? Huh, some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Or perhaps there's another reason. Another reason? are bent around the counter uh, there's a glass on the counter it has a thin layer of dust so it could have been there since the incident hmm. a key was in the glass a key hmm if you want to investigate close cognition There's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. So this is definitely another locked room? <laughs> there is a room key inside the glass on the counter. Oh, slot machine! Yeah. The slot machine is spotless. Looks like it was well taken care of. There's nothing here of interest. Yeah. Okay. Seems that way. Let's check someplace else. places. I think it's just the door. What a rich fragrance! I got a taste, Master. Of what? Oh! Sure! Is that a cookie? Where'd you get that? You sharing? Counter seat. That's... Someone rearranged well. the chairs after the incident? Not something to worry about. I mean, if they knocked over. Mm-hmm. That's... Can you sure it's not something? Could this be evidence of a struggle between the victim and the culprit? Mm. I don't know about that. The culprit could have knocked it over on purpose to throw out the investigation. There's not much we can get from it other than the fact it's knocked over. Let's check somewhere else. All right. The lock is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in. Like at the clock tower. Hmm. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with.
even here. What does that mean? When the body was discovered, this door was locked from the inside. There's no other way into or out of the room. In other words, it's a locked room mystery! Locked room mystery! Things are heating up! I think that's about it. Okay. That should do it. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post-cognition. Yeah, you like hand-holding? It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. Aww. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Ginma District. Hmm, I haven't been to the mansion yet. I have an idea of where to go. You've Let's never hold hands before, Dan. <laughs> Alaris coin. Dragon Palace. Meat bun shop. Ooh. Superior seasoning? So they're like fancy. They're fancy meat buns. Sports. Oh, the parkour. Oh, no, I wanted to read about the parkour. <laughs> the building we're heading to is accessed through Gima District. Let's hurry there. That's this way. This way. This way. Hardcore park. We can't go this way. Okay. I'm in hell, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> Subscribe to Cinder or you're fired. It's not necessary. Actually. That's a church. That was a test? Oh. For what? <laughs> to make sure it's working? Don't, don't remind them that sound alerts exist. You crazy? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you laughing at my downfall? Because somebody's about to play a sus sound alert. Hotel, where's the parkour? Parkour, parkour? Wait, the nun's stockings. She's sensitive to the cold and seeks extra warmth. Oh. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong. Wait, wait, we can take the bus. We can take the bus. Yeah. I think it technically costs money to use the bus, but. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see that it could potentially cost money. We need to save up as much as we can to afford <laughs> this, this, this assistant of ours. Oh, priest eyes. Few people have seen the priest. This is fine. We need to cross. Yeah, already 5 million Shannon debt. That's okay. Free for detectives? <laughs> yeah, this city hates detectives. Mansion. On the bus system. Yeah, 200 yen. Amaterasu Corporation. Oh boy. <laughs> no! Wait! Wait! I think uh, you're just a horny little boy. No! <laughs> wait! Wait! <laughs>
think you're just no! a humble little boy. No! <laughs> wait, wait, stop! I think please. you're just a horny little stop, boy. <laughs> wait, wait, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> it doesn't even sound like me. <laughs> I think you're just a horny little boy. <laughs> I think you're just a horny little boy. Wait, wait! Why do you keep playing it? It caused a hype train! <laughs> no! That would be good for a demo reel? <laughs> Calling somebody a horny little boy? I don't know if that's what, uh, what people want to hear in a, a demo, maybe for a not safe for work kind of demo reel. <laughs> listening for well usually you make one demo reel and then send it out and then if, if, it, if it's something that that the companies are looking for then they'll then they'll hire you oh my goodness thank you guys for the hype train <laughs> thank you uh let's talk to her she she needs she's got a request for me um. oh hey halara you good <laughs> Oh. Who are you? I'm kind of a detective. <laughs> In training! <laughs> a detective, I see. Well? So, something wrong? Well, actually, I run from home. And I'm at a loss about what to do next. Um, hmm. You didn't have a plan? Let's solve this thing! This smells like a case! Let's hear her out, Master! Yeah. You might be right. I should avoid getting involved, but I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just left it alone. Well? Could you give me some more details? Well... I'm the daughter of a merchant who does business throughout the Kanai Ward. Due to family circumstances, it was decided that I would have an arranged marriage. Thinking of what's best for my family, I should accept the proposal. But my suitor is an awful person. I heard it with my own ears. He said he was only using my father. Huh? Then why not talk to your father about it? There's nothing I can do without proof. Besides, my father my father is very keen on him. When I told my father I didn't want to get married, he yelled at me and said I shouldn't cause trouble. I see. So that's why you ran away from home. Aww. Oh, how lame. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no. We can't do that. Having to marry an evil man sounds terrible. Leaving home has given me some time to think. I want to try talking to my father. But if I went back now, I don't think we could have a civil conversation. I'm terribly sorry to ask, but could you take this letter to my father for me? I'll reward you for your trouble. With DP. <laughs> <laughs> detective points! Detective points! Because we get lots of detective points for helping people and completing their requests. Does this chick think detectives are errand boys? We can't just leave her like this. Huh? That's my master! Simping over every woman he meets and making their wishes come true! <laughs> <sighs> it's not like that. Alright. Okay, I'll help you. Thank you so much! My father should be in front of Kanai Station around now. Hey! It'd be a good idea to ask what he looks like, right? The station is a busy place after all. That's true. Uh... What exactly does your father look like? He should be wearing a suit. Navy blue from head to toe. It's his favorite. I see. Navy blue from head to toe. Okay, I will do that later. We gotta go to the mansion first. There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. Is he jumping to try seeing that's higher? Probably it. Let's go. He's inside. adorable. Closed, as expected. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, you're doing things to my heart. Wait! 100% baddie. <laughs> Let me look for some blue lights. 
<laughs> I need to find blue balls. It looks like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been Maybe. meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. Mm. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. So who would want to... What? Who would want him dead? The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. Did you do the that with the coin? killings had another common factor. You're just gonna leave the door Besides open? the locked room. The first person to find the body was always the same person. Yeah. That fan, the fanboy. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the mailman and had access to the names of potential victims. Mm -hmm. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. It is suspicious though. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Okay. <laughs> Think you're partners now? Just because you <laughs> held hands with my master. Well, she's my assistant. I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. <laughs> Don't make it sound so suggestive. She didn't. Feels like a jump scare is coming up. <laughs> it's like Luigi's Mansion! So this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here, too. And there's nothing left here, either. It's all cleaned up. I don't want to do it. But I suppose I can share my post-cognition again here. Wow, you offered! <gasps> Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> Just make it quick. Investigation! For the third time. Corpse's original location. Can I... I don't want to step on it. Nice ring you got there. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. Can I put a different one on your other finger? It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. There are no windows, and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Hmm. Corpse. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other mm -hmm. illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. That makes sense now. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Yeah, those aren't nails. Those are stakes. Like, <laughs> those are metal stakes Perhaps that you pitch tents with. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, this is odd. Hmm? Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Are they? How do we tell? They're they're inside the body. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? The nails.
signals driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. Yeah, what's up with that? The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. So he was sitting up while his legs were being nailed? The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people and they were smushed together after death. Okay, you can be quiet. That's disturbing. The blood from the nails stuck in the upper and lower body of the corpse seemed to be flowing in different directions. Victim's neck. Another rope burn. The cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look, there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. Mm. There are two different types of string marks on the body. Was he strangled twice? But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. There are rope marks caused by strangulation and wounds from resisting. There are also string marks on the back of the victim's neck. Don't underestimate the power of... string. I sliced my finger open trying to, uh... rip a string. That's a real story. True, true story. Oh, more dolls! Oh, what are these? this it looks very obvious like i should be able to look at that or maybe they're on the floor uh, there's a huge tank here but there aren't any fish inside hmm. living things can't be seen through post cognition it doesn't have that ability okay fishies that's true there are fish in the tank it doesn't seem like they've been cared for since the owner was killed they're looking pretty bad Inside the tank, some kind of secret passage? Yeah. Would be interesting. It doesn't appear to be related to the case. Is there a secret book that I can pull? Right here. And then the secret wall will open? Maybe? Hinting! The bookshelf! Uh, a series of books is arranged neatly on the shelf. There's no indication the books have been moved. I don't think they're related to the case. Hmm. I agree. Let's look somewhere else. Okay, it's all on the floor. Oh! You just want to find a book to give us your boy! Uh, no! <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't know what kind of books he's interested in. I don't know. Yeah, that's such a silly thing for you to suggest. Several dolls have been nailed to the floor. After the clock tower and the secret club, this makes three. It doesn't make any less make it any less creepy though. It's me. Now's not the time to show fear. Investigate thoroughly and find the clues to solve this case. Right. I see. The dolls have nothing in common, and I don't see any unusual markings either. It appears. Nothing to do with the case then. Painting! What does that mean? There is an expensive looking landscape painting, but it's tilted. I wonder why. Could this be related to the locked room? It appears. Doubtful. Judging by the marks on the wall, I'd say this painting was hung at an angle. The peacekeepers must have altered it by mistake during their investigation. How confusing. Why? Why is that? Oh! Landscape paintings and extravagant frames are on display. All these paintings look incredibly expensive. However... They're counterfeit, not a single one is genuine. 
Doesn't look like there's anything relevant to the case here. Let's investigate elsewhere. Bookshelf? Uh... It's a carefully organized bookshelf. Looks like all the novels belong to the same series. The Goin Saga! Yeah. I believe this series has more than 150 volumes. Unfortunately, the author has passed away. It's a shame the story never saw an ending. Do you think... Hmm, <laughs> you think I should snag one? <laughs> Bookshelf near the hallway. Uh... What? What's up with the floorboards? All these books are lined up so neatly. Hmm. They're covered in dust. Nobody's touched them for a long time. Meaning they won't help us with the case. Okay, maybe that's not suspicious. It looked like it at first. Oh, there's dolls there. Yeah. Even in the past, several books line the shelf. I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different between then and now. I see. In that case, it's probably not related to the case. Okay. If I snag one, I have to take all 150 because it's a series. <laughs> Alright, we checked all that stuff. There's a projector up there. Entrance. Uh-huh, there's definitely a pattern. There is a vent, but it's too small for a person to fit through. And it's also screwed shut from the inside. It seems impossible to remove. Oh, what's this now? <laughs> Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it. Like a rope? Really? Given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. <laughs> uh, Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shen. <laughs> You're charging me for it? I just... Hmm. The marks, marks on oh. the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? <laughs> Yuma needs uppies! <laughs> it shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. Uh, yeah. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. <laughs> you should give me 10,000 shien as a reward. I know! I'm getting a headache. <laughs> The vent is too small for a person to enter or exit from. There's evidence that a string or something similar is scraped against the gap in it. Not any difference? That's... Screwed shut. There's a mark. Okay. The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. This is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. Hmm. Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Interesting. Poe's cognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo, taken back then, in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. I have to get it for her because we're holding your hand! I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's blushing! She's got a little key cat! Oh. oh, this is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. But can this photo be trusted? Hmm. Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledge the incident occurred in a locked room. 
Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. Mm -hmm. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Thanks. Was that a compliment? <laughs> Is that really all it takes to please you? <laughs> also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this gonna be on the test? Why is that circle? But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? <laughs> That's surprisingly cute. Aww. The key to the mansion's study. There are no copies of this master key. The mansion's floor plan and a photo of the locker room mystery, both received from Holara. Is that... Hold on, I need to... I need to go back and look. Shoom. Is that the painting? Wait, what else can I look at? Better search every nook and cranny. I'm searching. Oh, we didn't check the door, um, this is... normally. The door to the study. We left it open just in case. Hmm. It's always good to be wary of sudden attacks. Never let your guard down. Right, got it. I'll... It's because of the teaching of yours, truly. You're welcome, master. Thanks. Uh, okay, um, we can't leave. We check that. <laughs> what if there's a sudden hand holding attack? Lara's hands are smaller and softer than I thought. No! <laughs> Considering Halara's strength, I thought they would be bulkier. Master, is holding hands all it takes to get you hot and heavy? You're making me sad. <laughs> no. Though I'm no. curious. Uh. Is Halara a man or a woman? This again? What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Not at all. Um, do you have a pee pee? <laughs> I guess it'd be pretty rude to ask now. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't know why they keep bringing it up. It literally doesn't matter. I'm still gonna fall in love. Like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> all right, we check this. Oh, lamp. And a switch. Yeah. It's a lamp. The light's on right now. Say. Make sure to use proper lighting in addition to these kinds of... Lighting? Oh, in addition to these kinds of lighting. As eye strain may occur. Who are you talking to, Shinigami? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's cool. There's a switch for the projector on the desk. Looks like it was set to off when the corpse was found. Oh! The lamp's light is pointed at the table. It probably wasn't turned on at the time. Mm. Nothing suspicious. Okay. Interesting. Books. Oh! Two extraordinarily thick books are stacked on the desk. These books are in great condition aside from some dust. They look completely untouched. Can I take them? Beats me. He probably wanted to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been moved for a while. They're probably not related to the case. Okay. Okay.
Oh, wait. Hold on. Lock your mysteries. My question to you. Um, oh, wait. To make it look like the victims committed suicide? Correct. By cutting the space off from the outside, the murder is made to look as if the victim killed himself. Um... I don't know how they do that if all their limbs are nailed to the floor. However, the culprit of the nailman killings doesn't seem to care about making it appear that way. So why make it out to be a locked room mystery? Mm. Unless you're Nagito believe, Komaida. The reason lies in the mystical nature of the nailman and how it bolsters the urban legend's legitimacy. It's locked for the sake of self-branding, making this a rather rare case. Hmm. I see. Master, are you sure you get it? I do. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I didn't use uh, this. Hmm? Two extraordinarily thick books. Blah blah blah. Doesn't look like well. they were. Blah 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 blah. Placement's the only thing that changed. Yes. Oh, there's another doll there. So, what exactly did you mark on your little drawing? <laughs> Nagito built different, true. Um. Are we gonna say anything about the, um, projector? is still hold on these are still these aren't like checked off wait a minute oh that's what you marked there's only one doll nailed to the wall the rest are on the floor comparatively there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait, this doll has both eyes gouged out. Why? Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. This just keeps getting weirder. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. <laughs> uh, why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. Huh. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's mm -hmm. like that darkness is staring. Into what the me. hell? <laughs> huh? There's a map on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. Looks like a string rubbed against it. Mm. How did this mark get here? This doll is made of resin, not porcelain. It looks like a thin string rubbed against the inner corners of the eye. Okay. Looks like there's nothing left to check. Yay, that's an A-OK -okay for the investigation here. At first I was thinking maybe they use the string for the vent to open the door? Like to, to pull up the door handle? Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first but glance. What about the doll? The answer is simple. What? Huh? Uh, Holara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's no way to solve it with what we have. <laughs> How is the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. <laughs> for the sake of your own pride. Oh my god. You must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you. 
It won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> it's really all about the money with Halara. Mm -hmm. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare She literally me. is Byakuya. Now, let us be swift. Next stop is our last crime scene. Okay. But wait! Give me a second. Huh? What? Did you hear that? <laughs> what? Okay, alright. I'm, I'm not I'm just gonna leave. Expensive looking sofa. Well, can we go upstairs? <gasps> oh, no. Okay. All right, I'm The learning. next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Okay. Right. The chief's in danger after all. Yeah. He's definitely not the, the culprit at all. No. A thin man with loafers? No, no. No, no. No way. Any blue balls? Blue balls? Mm. I think that's gonna be a no. Alright, let's leave. No, I tried going upstairs. There's an invisible wall. Where's the manto? Oh, the meat bun shop. Oh wait, this is a different meat bun shop. Oh, this one's cheaper. Oh, but it's not as, as fancy. Hmm. I wanted to read about the parkour. Construction site. Oh! They're restoring the building. Rain's 24 7, no wonder the place is a wreck. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, where are we going? Yeah. I'm just gonna check down the side path. You know. In case something, uh. Looks a little suspicious. Anything blue? <gasps> Fubuki! <gasps> we haven't had one the Fubuki yet! And that's the second one? Solar and Lunar Wink. That sounds like the hotel. What the heck? We were just there. Maybe I didn't look hard enough? Hmm, I'll have to go back there again. Hmm. Well, given her affluent princess-like upbringing, she really went shopping for herself. And Leslie has a unique sense of monetary value. She thinks an apple costs as much as a car. <laughs> Aww. This is the first time we have been alone at the agency, Yuma. Uh, th thank you for pointing that out. Uh. Oh, now that you mention it, I guess you're right. I know. How about I make you some coffee? <laughs> or would you prefer some tea instead? Mwah? Uh, which is which again? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Sonia? No. <laughs> Sonia's much more independent. <laughs> Darker. That was a funny joke. What do you mean that was a funny joke? The darker one's coffee. Anyway, the darker one is coffee. Oh, it is? Now that you mention it, that sounds right. <laughs> However, 
This is quite troubling. Why? There are far too many moments in my life where I cannot tell things apart. Aw, I'm here to help. Just like with coffee and tea, I cannot tell the difference between an elevator and escalator. Well, they sound similar. Or left and right. That makes sense. Or the day after tomorrow and the day before yesterday. I cannot Aww. differentiate many things. <laughs> that sounds rough. Oh, there is more. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Until recently, I thought paying reparations meant you were paying a repairman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. She's such an airhead. I'm surprised she's managed to survive for so long. And she's a master detective? Fubuki, have your misunderstandings ever gotten you into trouble? Trouble... I suppose when all is said and done, I have managed fairly well. <laughs> oh, there was one thing. Really? If you don't mind, can you tell me about it? Yes, of course. Back when I was around ten years old, in uh -huh. the neighborhood where my mansion is located, a rumor was spreading about a high school student who could fly. I hoped it was true and wished to meet him, so I went for a visit. However, he could not in truth fly, but was rather considered something called a flight risk. Oh! At this point, it sounds like a comedy skit. <laughs> right? <laughs> a oh, bunch of, like, well, it was puns. He was more than a mere delinquent. People considered him an extremist. Upon discovering I was the daughter of the Clockford family, he kidnapped me and barricaded us away. Oh. Barricaded? Yes. He demanded the government revise the Constitution <laughs> if they wished me to be returned safely. What? So, what happened after <laughs> Excuse that? Excuse me? Hmm. It was quite a while back, so I cannot really remember. In the end, the laws were changed a bit, and I was released. The laws were... what? It makes sense a master detective or rather a member of the Clockford family would have such ridiculous stories. Yeah, um, what's your power again? <laughs> Being unable to tell coffee and tea apart should have been the least of my worries. <laughs> <laughs> Master, you and Fubuki seem to have grown closer. Well, oh, maybe um, we can help her learn. We just need uh, persistence. We need to be persistent, yeah. Just think we might get to hold her hand. Oh, <gasps> true. <gasps> I wonder if we can hold all their hands. <gasps> excited, excited, excited. <laughs> so next stop is the museum, I think. Or art, art gallery? No, museum. Museum. Yeah, the storage closet of the museum. Yeah, last uh, crime scene to check out. Uh, but maybe we'll find some more blue balls along the way. Yeah, solar and lunar wink. That's gotta be the hotel. Front of the fountain? Front of the fountain? What fountain? I hear water. Oh, it's rain. <laughs> Duh. Oh, we're going this way. We want to cross the street. <laughs> I I have like <laughs> I get excited when I see blue lights because <laughs> I think it's the 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 things, the thingies, the blue balls. Can't help it. You blame me? You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go inside. What keeps going ding? Oh, we, we looked at that already. So this is the art gallery. It's closed due to special circumstances. The murder occurred only about a month ago. 
But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna barge right in? Matters to me. Watch it be locked. But wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> no door is any match for her. The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. Okay. Oh, wait, please. You got it. The door was open. <laughs> sure. Mm. Oh. New problems have arisen with trespassing. Oh, parkour. Don't mind if I yes. <laughs> locked door. Oh. Seems like this door is locked. Well, there are priceless works of art all over the place. Of course, the door is gonna be locked. Not the 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 front door, but every other door. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what is it? Where do you think you're going? The crime scene is this way. S sorry. Uh, 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 sorry. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> We're like a couple of thugs or something. We're like a couple? Get <laughs> on the painting. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected. It's the same worshipper. Hmm. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. Right. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. Okay. The door was locked at the time of discovery. And the key was found inside. Where's the corpse? Where's the vent oh, window? Vent or window? But I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> it's not so special anymore. <laughs> wow. Special. People have died. Why are we getting so excited? Let's start investigating. Are you standing on yes. the where the body was found? Investigation. Hmm. Ain't no way. No fucking way. I'll find out for you. That's the window. Is it the kid? In or out of here, besides the door, is this window. It's the kid? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, who was that tiny? I was like, wait, there was a child. Please save my dad, it was me all along. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Currently, it opens outwards slightly, but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. Hmm. Unless... They do the murder, leave the room, and then use the window and the strings to... Like, lock the... The doors? Post-cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. Yeah, try not to think about it. Painting of a young man. This is... Nails are driven into this painting of a young man. I'm... Oh, I know this! 
He's one of those edgelord protagonists everyone loves for no reason. That's not really the impression I get. Oh, large landscape painting. This is... It's a large scenic painting with a doll nailed to it. I wonder how this ended up on the floor. Is there a reason? That's... If it's related to the incident, there's probably a reason. Let's assume that much. Doll nailed to the painting? That's a bit odd. Large oh, the key! The floor, and a doll is nailed against the canvas. One nail goes through the head, another nail is in the chest. But the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? Hmm. If that's the case, how did they lock the room? The string. The key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. String. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. String through the window. And I need to find out what that trick is. String through the window. To the window! To the wall! Doll nailed to a cloth canvas. The key to the room is also nailed on. Okay. Let it. Let it. Let it. Yeah. Shelf with the painting. Stacked boxes. Hmm? Cardboard boxes are stacked up. Judging from the labels, the boxes are brought in after the incident. Looks like there's artwork inside. They must be storing the items no longer on exhibit. I don't think these are related to the investigation. Okay. No. Yeah. Mm hmm Nothing to do with the case. Ooh! This is... It's a portrait painting with nails driven into it. This picture really conveys its time period. Maybe the person depicted is an important figure from years ago. Uh, huh? There's nothing dignified about this guy. He just looks like a regular old geezer. <laughs> a geezer. Okay. I think that's everything here. All this? Whoa! <laughs> this is... Painting of a man screaming with his hands clutching his face. There's something unnerving about this painting. I almost feel as if it's gonna swallow me whole. That's... Geezer reminds me of old man Zonge! No! <laughs> Paintings don't have that kind of power. More importantly, did you find anything? No, nothing suspicious. Doesn't look like it's related to the case. The canvas placed here is completely blank. I wonder why it's blank, and why it's so messily placed with these wooden frames? Well... It doesn't look like an exhibition piece. Maybe it was used for some other event. I see. Nothing seems out of place. Don't think this will help. Okay. I love the music! You're not gonna comment on this? That it's nailed up now? Hmm. Like canvas, nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Sculpture covered with cloth. Oh! Sculpture with a sheet placed over it to keep the dust off. It appears. Doesn't look like it's been moved for a long time. Yeah, you can tell from the dust that's gathered on the sheet too. In other words, it's completely irrelevant. Yes, it is. It's completely not necessary to investigate. <laughs> there are baskets on top of the shelf. I'm not tall enough to see inside them, though. I'll... I'll take a look for you. This is... What is it? We accomplished nothing. <laughs> so you found nothing. <laughs> Ooh. There's a nail stuck in the painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Hmm. 
why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Yeah. Mm. A nail is driven into the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. Oh! I see. Yep. Ooh, we ranked up. Oh. We leveled up. But nothing inside. We just gotta cover all our bases. Vents on the floor. Oh! This is where the body was at the time of the incident. There's no trace of it anymore, though. It's me. Let's use our special powers. The corpse of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. Mm. The victim's name is Issa Moe. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Mm -hmm. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. Mm. It looks pretty deep. This may be the real cause of death. Like the other victims, there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resisting, and signs of blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Yeah, she did get bonked. Mm. Alright, just the door then. There are two keys that open this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. Huh. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Hmm. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office. But it's unknown if it was always there. Interesting. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Maybe. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? That's too easy. Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? Yep. I guess you wouldn't. Countered! <laughs> <laughs> Two keys can open the door to the art gallery storage room. At the time the body was discovered, one of them was inside the room. There are two keys that open this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. I see. So if you worked at the art gallery, you'd have been able to enter the crime scene. Yes. Thank you. Wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. Oh. Spilled paint! I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. Mm -hmm. Alright. But there was yellow, yellow paint on the most recent crime scene. Huh. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? <laughs> yeah. 
Be quiet. All right, I think we're good. That should be enough. I'm finished investigating here. I feel like the full picture is slowly starting to come together. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. Hmm. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Good idea. Outside the window? All right. I'll see you on the other side. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself. Huh. <laughs> and my master does everything he's told. Like a good little <laughs> underling detective. Hilari is right. This is something I took on myself. Mm -hmm. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. <laughs> That's why I have to do it. Watch the kid be guilty. Or guilty. maybe Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. True. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. It's why you're so deep in debt. <laughs> I know, but what are you mumbling about? Oh, did you check the window? Oh, uh, I'm going. I'm going to do it. Oh, right. I'll do it right away. Sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Outside the window. Could that have anything to do with the locked room? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Boy. K. Colon is his name. When his father has time off work, they always play catch together. Oh, Why are you bringing up the boy now? Hmm. Should we be, uh, suspicious? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> I wonder what Halara discovered. You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I hope that's not the case. Just doing my due diligence, Maybe. don't mind me. Anyway. Yeah. No clues on the fence. Let's rest. Hmm? Some cardboard boxes are stacked up. Actually. They're all sealed. And they're left in the rain, so it was pointless. There's even a little crate for us to step on. Look at that! Well, see anything strange? No, you. <laughs> nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. Huh? What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. <laughs> Your cocoa head I, can't fit through I there. I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. <laughs> you didn't even try putting your arm through there. I can stick a finger in. But that's it. That's all you need. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? <laughs> no, not at all. What's that about? A hinged window used for ventilation. It opens outward, but the gap is only about five centimeters wide. Look at him on his little step stool. Hello? Are those loafers? Are those supposed to be loafers? Why are we focused on his feet? Hey! Oh. What are you doing here? Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything shady. <laughs> I'll call the peacekeepers. Of course, that's the first thing you say. Wait! I'm... Trick the art gallery staff member. We have to trick him? I am a peacekeeper! Yeah! I'm a peacekeeper. What? Of Amaterasu Corporation? Oh, that was easy. Y yes, of Amaterasu. Really? You totally fumbled that. 
Oh my god. You are no good at lying, huh? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> um. We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Uh huh? Oh, right. I I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so easy! Hey, Halara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Like I said, it's not about what's right. <laughs> I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would be me. Oh, how convenient. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. What do you know? What did you see? Relive your trauma! Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he hmm. wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. Checks out. So we looked around the premises together but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. The nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were off, even though they were usually off. Hmm. So I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. Yeah, it sounds like he's just all of a sudden Southern. He didn't sound Southern before, did he? So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. The trauma brings out the South in him? <laughs> what about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Huh. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. Huh. So that was him. That paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then. Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Hmm. Oh, right. At the time of, at the time the body was discovery. There's a bit of a typo there. At the time the body was discovery, someone from the church tried to enter and knocked over a paint can. Hmm. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Yeah! Wait! I still have no idea what happened! You'll figure it out. Time does not wait for you. <laughs> Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. What are you doing? Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Who are you, Zhao? <laughs> Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. Oh my god. <laughs> and gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy. Oh, I have no clue what to do. Well, we have enough Please clues. so pathetic. For another labyrinth. Go back to the detective agency for now. We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed. All right. We need to help him. <laughs> Has it been three hours? I still think Yako's pretty suspicious. I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed. Right, let's hurry. I want to know how the last Um, actually, I think I'm going to stop by the hotel again because I think we missed a blue ball. 
So I'm gonna go look for the blue ball. It's been seven hours. And we haven't even gotten to the labyrinth. Um, <laughs> the entire chapter last time took a total of six hours. Although I have been running around go, 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 go. and and completing her quests and 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 looking at the the the, the, the events. You know, we've been doing a little bit of extra stuff this time. Uh. Yeah, we're trying to get a date. Side quests go away if you don't do them before the chapter ends. Yeah. Stop brushing me! Okay, um... So this is the outside of the hotel, so maybe let's look around here. Outside the hotel... Nothing. Let's go into the hotel. Is there a timer? No. <laughs> He's not there anymore! Oh, I was hoping... Oh, no, he there! He is! <laughs> he just materialized. <gasps> yeah, I was with Halara, but I, I, I just wanted to stop by and, and say hello again. You know, I I missed you. What do I do? I mean, I, I, I was in an office and I saw a lot of books and, and I thought of you. Uh, <laughs> would you come with me? If Halara's working on it, then the problem's as good as solved. Then. You can trust Talara to take care of it, Yuma. <laughs> he's basically saying he's not coming. But anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying along? Isn't the execution happening soon? I need to hurry. You're right. We gotta get back. But I'm not. I'm gonna look for a blue ball. Let's hold his hand. Oh my god, can we? <gasps> can we please? I wanna hold his hand. <laughs> uh Solar and lunar was the clue. <gasps> ha. There it is. I really need his power. <laughs> so I can hold his hand. Okay, we're gonna watch uh, the next Fubuki. Gab. We still haven't found any... In front of the fountain. Yeah, we have to find a fountain. Because we found at least one for everybody. Except for you. Hmm. Wait. I want this one. Fubuki! What are you confused about today? Viva's garments, yeah, the bandages. He's so fine. Fubuki's accessories? Necklace has a clock motif. Oh, makes sense. We're outside! Are we actually- Thank you kindly for keeping me company today. On a date? Oh, look at her! The way she's- There's not a thought behind those eyes! <laughs> Zero thoughts! <laughs> because of you, Yuma, I have experienced takoyaki for the very first time. Oh! Oh, it's nothing. I'm surprised you wanted to try some in the first place. Oh? Why is that surprising? Could it be that my face resembles takoyaki? So you believe I am a cannibal? What?! <laughs> That's not at all what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't look anything like takoyaki anyway. It's just that you grew up like a princess. You even got kidnapped because of it. That's why I didn't expect you to want to try takoyaki. Hmm. Ah, so that is what you meant. But I am not as high class as you might think. My daily life is rather ordinary. Hmm. I sincerely doubt it. Ordinary to you. <laughs> is that so? It truly felt plain to my eyes. Because you're used to it. Well then, can I ask you a few questions? It helped me get an idea of what it was like for you growing up. Yeah, you know, get to know you a little bit more. Very well. If that is what is required to satisfy you, you can ask me anything, including my measurements or the password to my bank account. Um... 
Um... No, I don't need to ask about those. You probably shouldn't offer up that information to just anybody. <laughs> anyway, to start off, how many rooms did your home have? How many rooms? I never really considered it. Hmm. Um, first, the kitchens. There were one, <laughs> two, three, four, <gasps> five... She counted past three! Uh... I am beginning to grow confused. My apologies. <laughs> I am not very good at counting <laughs> such large numbers. <laughs> no, that's more than enough for me. There's really no point in asking any more questions. But this is getting kind of... fun. Aww. Uh, next up, what sort of car did your parents own? Their car? Unfortunately, there were no cars at our home. <laughs> huh? That's hard to believe. We just had little drivers show up. Do you know what cars are? They have four wheels and move on roads. <laughs> yes, I have seen them around the city. But none of those tiny cute mobile huts were anywhere near my home. Oh. Mobile huts? I'm guessing the cars at Fubuki's place are on a completely different scale. Right? <laughs> Limos? <laughs> okay, last one. What's the most expensive gift you've ever received? A gift? Well, I am unsure how expensive it was, but... Is she gonna say an apple? The one that made me happiest was when I went with my family to look at the stars. Aww! That's so cute! Huh? Stars? On my birthday, my father told me a star would shine especially bright. I watched it with my mother and father. That time spent together was the greatest gift I have ever received. Wait. How did he know that? What did your dad do? What was that star? Like, actually, <laughs> what was it? My parents are such busy people. I rarely saw them as a child. Oh, I should be a rocket, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> oh, is something wrong? After asking so many petty questions, I feel real ashamed of myself. Aww. Even if you are rich, you're still you. Mm -hmm. I am myself? That is true, I suppose. <laughs> but Yuma, what sort of person do you think I am? What do I think of Fubuki? Uh oh. Well, that's simple. Ditsy rich or honest? <laughs> They're all true! I'm gonna say honest. You're honest. You may be rich and ditzy. Oh, he said them all things. anyway. Okay. <laughs> foundation of who you are is your honesty. Aww. <laughs> well, I am not sure I would say I am honest myself, but it makes me happy to hear you say it. You're calling yourself a liar? You're honest. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said the time spent stargazing with your parents was your favorite gift. Aww. Oh, that reminds me. After we looked at the star, my father purchased it for me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> I am unsure how expensive that may have been, but I am certain that is the biggest gift I have ever received. <laughs> Considering how honestly surprised I am by all this, I must have been a lowly commoner before losing my memories. Well, how would you know? <laughs> you wouldn't remember. Master, you and Fubuki seem to have grown even closer. Yay! Very, very rich. That's how rich. Like, imagine rich, and then, like, imagine more rich. <laughs> Rumors about the secret club? There's a behind-the-scenes connection to Amaterasu Corporation. Hmm. That's interesting. It's also a new one. Oh, there's a rumor among clergy members. Anyone who sees his eyes will become blessed or vanish. The priest? We saw his eyes. Um. Well, we're still here, so I guess we're, we're doing pretty good. 
Oh, hey! You're, you're still here? I'm trying to find your your balls. Your <laughs> wait, your your um your story, your your date, your date scenarios. Oh, I guess they're both just still in here. Okay. We should probably go save our boss. This way. Let's check this out. There's nothing up here. I need the sewers. Sewer? Alara seems to know who the real culprit is. Yeah. That's incredible. Come on. She's Where's big brain. Competitive spirit. You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Mm-hmm. I think he's okay. Oh, oh. <gasps> we gotta go back. I guess we're almost done then. Well, duh, our investigation's done. Okay, we gotta we gotta go deliver the letter. We gotta deliver that lady's letter. Um, where was that though? Kanai Station. This will be quick. I need the DP. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we've read all these by now. Yeah, to her dad. So he had a blue. Blue drip. It's probably gonna be the only person around here. Probably inside. Anybody in here? Any uh, fathers? Any any um, fathers trying to get their daughters into an arranged marriage? You. Oh! Oh. Is that the schmuck? <laughs> Is that the schmuck you're trying to get your daughter with? Completely navy blue suit. Could th this be the merchant girl's father? Hmm? Is the man with him the client's suitor? Hmm? I bet he is! He even looks evil! No. We can't tell just from appearances. Anyway, let's try talking with them. Um. Excuse me. Hmm? Who are you? <laughs> if you don't mind, we're in the middle of an important conversation. Uh. I have a letter for you from your daughter. What did you say? You know my daughter's whereabouts? Where is she? <laughs> well? Yes, but would you... Please read the letter first. You're not actually listening to this guy. Oh, no, that's the other guy. You're not actually listening to this guy, are you, sir? <laughs> I'll see for myself. Hmm, yes. Uh, this is without a doubt her handwriting. <laughs> uh, there must be some kind of mistake. I would never mistake my daughter's handwriting. <laughs> I'm afraid that if what's written here is true, this marriage cannot al be allowed to continue. <laughs> he just leaves. Oh. Ugh. And I almost got away with it too. Huh? <laughs> He's not even trying to hide it. He sounds like some second-rate cartoon villain. No point in playing pretend anymore. A scam's over the moment they start to doubt you. Later, chumps. <laughs> Hey, wait! There's no need to follow him. Thank you for delivering this letter. No. Uh, it was nothing. I'll try talking to my daughter. Allow me to properly thank you another day. Not today. Yes. But maybe later. <laughs> for now. Let's go report to the client. 
Dollar store, dollar store Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> yeah. Nail man. Who got? Who got? You know, he keeps his his nails in good shape, nice and pretty, and painted. And that's what happened. Blood red. I don't think you'll have to worry about that arranged marriage anymore. Really? Then my father actually believed me. I think I'll go home now. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. A DP, mm. please. Hope it goes well. Well, we did our part. Who cares what happens next? No. We're involved now, so I'd like for her to be happy. Huh? Oh, I get it. That must be the way of the simp. <sighs> Why do you keep calling me that? I only speak the truth. So let's go. Boop, 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 map. Let me go back to here. And then we can progress. Blood pink? True. True. That's weird though. How come the tutorial had red blood? I was so disappointed that the blood wasn't pink, but then the blood was pink, and then I got really, really excited. Hmm. True. Good point. Well, wait, yeah, it had the it had the guy's apron in here. Why? Why do we need to know about his apron? What is the significance? Do we want to go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then downstairs? Yes. We did all of our quests. Rumors, crosswalks, nun stockings. <laughs> Sun and Moon Hotel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trespassing and running on top of food stalls, parkour. Wait, they just left him outside in the rain? Uh-oh, the flowers are wilting. It's about time. <laughs> hey, wait! You said I had three hours, huh? My watch says I still got five minutes! <laughs> you need to get your watch repaired. Oh, I can't! Because you accused the wrong guy! You accused the watchman! So I can't get it fixed now! That was the only watchman in the entire city, so now we're gonna do to fix our clocks! Oh dear. The watchmaker is currently detained as a suspect. That's what I just said. Just throw away that piece of trash then. Okay, um... Get in the dumpster. <laughs> the dumpster's right over there, it's like, kind of right behind you. Uh, just crawl- climb right in. You can do it by yourself. Besides, you're out of time anyway. Take him away. Hold on. I have evidence. Wait. Oh, Yuma, <laughs> I knew you'd save me. And you are. Hi, I'm a detective. <laughs> I was the one investigating the nail man murders. Oh, I see. So. You're the one who interfered with our work at the clock tower. Well, I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. Oh. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. Hmm. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? Let me think about that. <laughs> no. Yuma, think carefully about this. No. Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being, please. Why? Because you were the one who committed the murders? Hmm? Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still... Please! Get my dad back from them! Please! Hmm. I'm not swayed. <laughs> you may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. Yes, Mom. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. 
I will find the truth. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. I don't want to pull out. Then our deal is off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Khan I Ward. But... Please wait before you go. Please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Nailman killings. You investigated the previous killings? Mm-hmm. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left at the crime scenes. Um, actually... Yeah, look, dude, you're not gonna believe this, but, um... <laughs> we've got superpowers on our side! <laughs> so we got superpowers, right? And we can see it to the past. So we can still see the dead bodies and and get evidence. <laughs> and you're you're wrong. <laughs> All the information you have is wrong, bro. I'm gonna rock your whole world. Just wait till you hear what else I have to say. I have no time for your lies. Oh. Uh, you're still wrong, though. The peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this <laughs> You're not gonna believe this! <laughs> I held hands with a tall detective baddie! <laughs> yeah, I held hands, and then I could see into the past, because she could see into the past, and because we held hands, I could also see it, because we both have superpowers, and, 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 and... <laughs> How did you know that? Because of the superpowers! So the cause of death was kept under wraps. Oh wait, no, that I wasn't superpowers. Now. That was obvious. The strangulation. My investigation is legitimate. Hmm. The victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Please let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. We looked at the body. That you must be arrested as well. Huh? You are suspected of espionage. Oh my god. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. What? Wait, please listen to me. No resisting. Got <laughs> you carried away, rookie. Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. <gasps> Halara Nightmare! Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. That's right! Halara, help me! Halara, please help! Halara Nightmare! She's gonna come in and knock all these guys out. It appears you require the aid of a great detective. Yo! What about the other guys? Get the other guys! Yeah, as I said, I would. Oh. I love her! I love her! The Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. Well, maybe you should tell them to Sorry. get on my level. I promise to give him a stern lecture after this. <laughs> Can we please keep things on the down low? Uh, Mr. Seth, are you alright? Polara, oh, <laughs> kick his ass. Kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. Please. Oh, yeah. You are nothing but an audience. <laughs> the resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to you. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit. What's going on? Oh, what are you doing here? I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? <laughs> that's such a mood. So that's what you meant about setting the stage. I mean, Halara did suggest the real killer was among the people at the church. And now I have to point them out here? What? 
Hey, Yuma. Are you sure you got this? Are you really, really sure? There's no room to mess up here, you know? Um, well... Well, judging by the appearance of everybody here and all the potential suspects, uh, you, sir, are the only one with loafers. <laughs> So, judging by that fact alone, <laughs> you are guilty! <laughs> what do I do? I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. Alara seems to know the answer already, so hmm. why don't you just pay up for it? Or we could go on a labyrinth adventure. But that would waste all of Alara's efforts setting the stage for me. Huh. So you want to solve this all on your own? Mm -hmm. If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me instead? Shinigami, will you help me? You mean the mystery labyrinth? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Oh no. And that's where yours truly comes in. Are you going to transform? Are you going to transform? And open up the portal? Yeah. <laughs> we have the information we need from Drag the me in by the neck with your chain, yeah? All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But if I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. It's like an execution. Which means, the real culprit will die. Mm-hmm. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? Do you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? True. But what's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. <laughs> what is this nonsense about a resolution? <laughs> I will make you listen by force if needed. That is my job as assistant. Yeah. <laughs> well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here. So let's go. <sighs> Fine. Transform. Please. I would love to see your <laughs> ultimate form again. Spirit. Well, master. Well, I sure am! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> She's coming! <laughs> it's the girl! <laughs> Boobies! <laughs> Perfect. She's perfect. She's so perfect. <laughs> what? Oh, can you see her? Why did Why did you react like that? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh no. What's this? Has time stopped? Um, uh, so I can explain, but I, but I can't explain? Um, Yuma, what happened? Is this someone's forte? Oh, uh, not exactly! Hilar's in here too! Uh, not so. Oh, is it okay? You knew this would happen? Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. We're not holding hands anymore. You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. But now I have to explain. Kalara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. Okay. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Who are you? This will take too long to explain, plus I don't feel like it. So I'll make that roll over the faster! But I'd break the con- 
true light. Oh, oh, um. Uh, I wonder how we're gonna land after that one. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till next time to see where we uh, end up. <laughs> are we gonna, are we gonna top or are we gonna bottom? <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, I know you guys aren't happy about it. But it's been a while. <laughs> It's been seven hours. Seven hours! That's that's a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of eepy, and I kind of gotta go pee, and I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> yeah, this game is 35, 36 hours. So it's a pretty, pretty, pretty hell, Mr. long game. Subscribe to Cinder. Or you're fired! Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Thanks, Eugene. <laughs> hey, Momo! How you doing? Nice to see you. Seven hours isn't long. No, but, um... For a stream? Typically, yeah. It's pretty long. <laughs> we'll just have to wait till the next time. Hmm. So next time we'll at least be able to start with the babe. It took a while, but but now in case in case you're new here, you know where where my little accessories come from. Shinigami's ultimate form. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> and the flower and the crown and the horns. Mm hmm So, I so think next time you're just a horny little boy. <laughs> no! Wait! wait! No! Oh, I gotta make that one more expensive. God damn. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it was a very eventful stream. The cosplay goal was hit, so I will be cosplaying Shinigami in real. The uh, 4K HD Shinigami. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm thinking because it's the end of the week, we will have another Rain Code stream very, very soon. So uh, I will work on the stream schedule for this upcoming week. Actually, technically, it's it's Sunday now for me. So later today, <laughs> later today, I will have another schedule out on my Discord that you can you can go check to see what days and what times I'll be live. I'll try to keep it around the same time. I'll try to be consistent, especially since you guys like watching Rain Code, and it would be helpful to be consistent since it's kind of a continuous story. Yeah, it's Sunday. So we are going to say hello to Yuzu and send her lots of love today. You definitely enjoyed it. Thank you. I'm really glad. Uh, thank you guys for, for um, uh, I guess, investigating. We haven't solved any mysteries today, but we certainly investigated one. So we'll try to piece it together next time. Hopefully next stream in general. Um, maybe, maybe even later today, tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I have to uh, s plan out my week and see what else I got going on. But yeah, you enjoyed your stay? Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Yes, we investigated four crime scenes. So it was pretty uh, in depth, pretty extensive. But it seems like it's more complicated than uh, than it might seem. Mm. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see more Shinigami. I'm excited to fight in the mystery labyrinth again. So I hope I see you guys next time to solve the mystery. And then uh, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna beat the game on stream. Mm hmm. Need more Halara? Hell yeah. <laughs> and you can use the command Discord for the Discord link. Um, copy the rain message, and we'll go say hi to Yuzu. Bye, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.